the news coverage doesn't stop here on Sam Roberts Show. <laughs> Your number one source. What, what did I walk into? For coverage here at the Republican uh, National Debate. What? <laughs> the CNN Debate. We are covering it live as only we can do. We now have uh, our correspondent, <laughs> the African-American correspondent to the African-American people, DJ Hookit is here to report on this debate. DJ Hookit. Booga baga, booga baga. <laughs> okay, that's not, I didn't say, I said African-American. You said African. No, African-American is what I said. Nigga, you said African. That's not what I said. All right. DJ Hookit is back here. You go from... Uh, Rappers and naked women with paint on them to the Republican debates. This vote, is Sam vote, Roberts' vote. show. <laughs> vote or die. Vote or die. Vote or die. Whatever you puff. Look at this. Uh, over here. <laughs> Denny Fatbeard on Twitter, yeah. SR Show SXM, says, Have you seen the new show on Nat Geo? Mm. Nat Geo pees nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's what we've named this debate, DJ Who Kid. Well, you always get caught out there. Even you, even when you read it, you get caught. It's the GOP's <laughs> nuts debate. It's not the GOP debate. Oh, it's the GOP's nuts oh, debate. Shit. <laughs> that's what's going on here. We're following on Twitter at SR Show SXM. Mm. Ballroom Brawler on Twitter says, oh shit, things just got dope. It got dope. <laughs> dope as fuck, huh? It got dope. <laughs> I mean, you got to hear, like, uh, this is just a taste. This is my favorite moment of the debate so go far. Ahead, okay. This happened uh, towards the beginning. He's talking about Rand Paul. Mm, I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. <laughs> he's, ca <laughs> he's calling him ugly. He's calling him ugly. Oh, my gosh. You can't be serious. <laughs> then look at him. Look at him. He's on TV now. He's talking. 100%, by the way. With Carly on the fact that the Democrats do not want to solve this problem for the obvious reasons, but they do not. But I believe that a reading of the 14th Amendment allows you to have an interpretation where this is not legal and where it can't be done. I've seen both sides, but some of the greatest <laughs> scholars agree with me without having to go through Congress. If you do go through Congress, you can absolutely solve Thank the problem. Thank you, Mr. Well, you, Trump. You, you would Senator stipulate, Paul. Mr. Trump, that not everyone Whoa, agrees. Carly is... This is sure. Senator Paul, okay. I want to bring you in. See, Carly is the yeah. chick that Donald Trump said she couldn't be president because her face looks like a horse. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Yes, you do. A little, little donkey-ish. And, and this is the guy who Trump just called ugly at the beginning of the debate, Rand Paul. I am informing America right now, DJ Who Kid. I hope that little kid from California that called in on the first show on Monday... Jackson, I hope that he's listening because he is getting a fucking social studies lesson tonight. Yeah. <laughs> those who were here and under the jurisdiction. What the? the original Dude, they've been talking about immigration for 45 minutes. This must. This is the Donald Trump show, <laughs> and all the other nine people are his guests. All right, Senator Paul, thank you so much. Let's turn to a new topic. We've received a lot of questions on What's social the new media topic? about the economy and about jobs. We oh, have my two God. CEOs. So what did, they go, what did they, go, they go, Donald Trump is our guy right now. So we're going to talk about two things, immigration that he's been talking about yes. forever and the economy, which is what his specialty has always been. He's a businessman. <laughs> oh, he's about to kick ass. He is. About to kick the He's just going to slit ass. throats. <laughs> have you ever seen anything so uh, so exciting as this debate? Who could, this I, is like I, Sunday I, Night Football. I never that you have to be attractive to win. Donald Trump is letting him know. He's saying, well, Rand Paul is an ugly man. This Carly woman, she's a very ugly woman. Ew, Donald Trump uh, apparently is this great-looking guy. Yeah. Although, you know, Donald Trump has to be a good-looking guy because his mm -hmm. daughter is so good-looking that Donald Trump himself said, if I was a little younger and not her father, I would fuck her. <laughs> That's what he said. Did you hear him? I heard him. He wants that. to have sex with his daughter. <laughs> Yipes. <laughs> he's making a face at Carly right now. Vote, vote, vote. He's about he's about to serve her a, a, a hard platter of whoop ass. <laughs> he's like, Carly, uh, luckily I have a mug here. I brought you a nice piping hot glass of shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and let the Trumpster do his talking. I can't wait till he got a company. Look, look at him. Like, this is the first time I've watched these debates, mm -hmm. and every candidate that's not Trump should be humiliated even being there. This is crazy. I've never even watched a debate before until Trump got on. Isn't it crazy? This is my first debate I've ever watched. Oh, and isn't it great? Yeah, I always thought Obama would win because he's black. I don't need to watch it. You don't need to watch it. Yeah, There's I'm no debate him. in that. He's yeah, black. Yeah, yeah, he's winning. You know? to say he was wrong, I was right. Thank I was you. a terrific CEO. The board was dysfunctional, and he. Oh my God! The whole time he's the whole time she's going. I was a terrific CEO. Trump is like pursing his lips, going, "No, fuck out of here." Why would you be better at creating let, let jobs just, than Charlie Fiorina? Yeah, let me just explain. 
<laughs> the head of the Yale Business School, Jeffrey Sonnenfeld, wrote a paper recently, one of the worst tenures for a CFO, CEO that he has ever seen, ranked one of the top 20 in the history of business. The company is a disaster and <laughs> continues to be a disaster. They still haven't recovered. In fact, today on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, he they fired this. another 25 or 30,000 people saying we still haven't recovered from the catastrophe. <laughs> and Carly says the revenues went up. That's because she bought Compaq. It was a terrible deal. And it really led to Ouch. the structure of the company. Now, one of the companies up, before that was Lucent. Carly was in Lucent before that. And Lucent turned out to be a catastrophe also. So I only say this. She can't run any of my companies. No. Ms. Fiorina, you know, I want to give you a chance uh, to respond. Jeffrey Sonnenfeld is a well-known Clintonite and honestly had it out for me from the moment that I arrived at Hewlett-Packard. But honestly, you that's true? I don't think that's true. I find it quite rich that you would talk about this. Uh -oh. You know, there are a lot of uh -oh. us Americans who believe that we are going to have trouble someday paying back the interest on our debt. Because politicians... This is like the white version of hip-hop beef. You understand who, this kid? This is real right here. That is, in fact, precisely the way you read, ran your casinos. You ran up mountains of debt as oh. well as losses using other people's Whoa. money. And you were forced to file for bankruptcy. Oh, not once, shit! Not, not twice. Four times. Atlantic City. Record four times. Why should we trust you? <laughs> Atlantic to City. The finances of this nation I tell you, any differently than you manage the finances Carly. of your casino. Atlantic City. Carly. Mr. Trump. I made over $10 billion. I had a casino <laughs> company. Caesars just filed for bankruptcy. Um, Chris will tell you. It's not Chris's fault either. But almost everybody in Atlantic City is either in trouble or filed for What did I say? Yeah. Atlantic well, City. But, you did. But Atlantic Mr. City Mr. is a disaster. Wait a minute, Carly. Wait. I'll let you speak. You're a damn thief, God. Atlantic City is a disaster. And I did great in Atlantic City. <laughs> My timing was great. And I got a lot of credit for it. Many of the great business people that you He's know, going like, don't worry about it. That failure, I actually did very well. Everybody else failed worse than me. What talking about. So it makes it a success. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Chris, the teacher on Long Island. Chris, this is, really crazy. is this is this not great for teaching the youth of America what I'm doing mm. here with DJ Who Kid? Mm -mm -mm. Dude, I was going to tell you, I was at a uh, back to school night tonight. Yeah. And so I missed everything. <laughs> Everything I get right now, I'm learning from you. And I, I'm, I'm giving you. Oh, oh Chris yeah. Christie's responding. I got to tell you the truth. They could care less about your careers. They care about theirs. Let's start talking about that. Hey, on yeah. Oh, all these fucking idiots. <laughs> these guys are coming up and being like, you know, we shouldn't talk about you guys. We should talk Shut about. Up. We should talk about yeah. what the people want to hear. Be quiet. Sounds like an idiot. <laughs> you can interrupt everybody else on the stage. Can I interrupt me? Okay. The fact is that we don't want to hear about your careers back and forth and volleying back and forth about who did well and who did poorly. You're both successful people. Congratulations. You know who's not Ooh. successful? Yeah. The middle class in this country who's getting plowed over by Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Let's you know who's not getting plowed Ooh. over? All the people that were stuck in traffic on the George Washington <laughs> Bridge because this idiot just decided to stop it up. <laughs> oh, my God, I love that. Chris Christie over Talk here. Talk about that. Coming to you next, but well, Ms. I Ms. Ferriano's name was mentioned, and I have to give her the opportunity to respond if she wants. Answer. Sorry, buddy. Well, I thought we had been hearing quite a bit about Governor Christie's record as governor, actually. I think track records are very important. I completely agree. Whoa. Beef. It's beef. Chris, the teacher, I mean, you got to be ready to come to your student. This has got to be a real. weird time. What do you teach? Can you uh, tell me what's... Social studies, dude. Yeah, this has got to be a weird time. Are you students going to you and being like, uh, excuse me, Mr. Chris... This makes no sense. Uh, I understand learning about the forefathers and all this stuff, but hasn't the American political system become a complete joke? I mean, and I say yes, so why don't you turn it on and watch it? <laughs> right, right. Or let them know the radio show's on. Just tell them to tune into the radio show, and I'll give them the I, cliff notes. Wow. I thought about playing this show tomorrow. You should. But when you said that he's giving him a big fat helping a dick, <laughs> fuck up, whatever it was, I think that might have disqualified it. <laughs> Look, the these kids, uh, they speak in a colloquial way. Uh, okay, they'll appreciate my common man language. That's a word right there. Thank you very yo, much. Who, yo, who kids? Hmm? Thanks for the retweets last night. I got like 17 big black chicks with fat ass. Woo, got you. Go. Vote, vote, vote. And, and yo, what's up with this new phone screener? She sounds like a poo. Let me tell you something. <laughs> we have a new phone screener tonight. Her name's Angie. Mm -hmm. She absolutely is a piece. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, uh, yeah? I met her when I was doing Taylor's morning show, Wake Up With Taylor. Mm. I noticed she was a piece there. And notice she's a piece tonight. You're right on, Chris the teacher. You're right on. And by the way, <laughs> whenever you hear a female voice on this show, yeah. I go to the Donald Trump school. 
Oh. No ugly chicks allowed on Sam Roberts' show. I like this show. I mean, that's not allowed, who kid? I love it. Have you ever come in here and seen an ugly chick? I don't recall. It's not going to happen. Not under my watch. <laughs> I can't guarantee you great radio, but I can guarantee you that I will not be looking at any ugly chicks. Uh, that was a ugly bitch up here. Never. Mm -hmm. Bruce in Louisiana, welcome to Sam Roberts' show. My nigga. <laughs> hey. He what? loves it. He loves my it. Nigga, By the way, hey. it looks like... Hey. Uh, People are tweeting in with GOP's nuts as they <laughs> as they watch this debate. It's GOP's nuts. I had to relish in that a little bit, you know. Down here in Louisiana, I don't get to use that one very often. Hey. Well, yeah, I get I get to use it every day, but it's at a cost. Uh, uh, anyway. Use it up here, buddy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but uh, this is what Donald Trump is great. He never he's he's like the best counterpuncher ever because he doesn't start it. He lets you get about three quarters of the way in. He's in the corner. He's got his head low. He's got his hands mm -hmm. by a beard. And then he just fucking comes out and puts that mushroom stamp right on the fucking forehead. He does. He goes, okay, <laughs> you've been hitting me with some jabs. Luckily, I've got a big dick to hit you with right now. Going in right now. He fucking swings that thing like a goddamn sledgehammer. That's exactly right. Thank you, Bruce. He's a great debater. I mean, what is America getting right now? Oh, even just right here. I just came in late uh -huh. and it's already ridiculous. It's insane. <laughs> this fucking thing's been on for over an hour and a half already. What? And it's all just Donald Trump talking about how great he is. And they're just arguing. They're about... just, they just bicker. There's nothing to be done. It's a complete waste of time. But <laughs> CNN saw the ratings that Fox News got on their debate and said, we need a debate, too. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask all Donald Trump questions. Mm -hmm. When they're not talking to Donald Trump, they're talking to the other candidates about Donald Trump. And we wonder why he's leading in the polls. Wow. Because these networks know he's good for TV. That's why he's leading in the polls. And everybody's looking so frustrated. Up there, you know. Because they look like fucking idiots for even showing up. I can't let they even go through with it. Can you imagine <laughs> running for president and having to get up on stage and realizing that you're just the ninth guest on the Donald Trump show? <laughs> like, you're supposed to be running against this guy. It's humiliating. I would, I would, I would not do it. As a matter of fact, if I was running for president, here's what I would do. And I don't have any patriotic music, so I'm going to play my news music again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's what I would do. Yeah. If I was running for president, hell yeah. They would invite me to the debate. Invite right? me, boy. And what I do is I'd say I need a live press conference right before the debate. Oh uh, shit. And I go to my press conference mm -hmm. and I'd say, ladies and gentlemen, I care about this country. I care about America. I'm not going to be one of these guys that's made to look a fool. I'm not going to be a puppet in some billionaire's puppet master show. Mm -hmm. No. I am not a marionette. Mm -hmm. I am primetime Sam Roberts. Really? And I want to lead this country. And here's my first step in leading the country. It's not to be a part of this farce Hit me that with they it. call a debate. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you can hear my hype man slash vice president, DJ yeah. Hookip, behind me. We believe you. This... <laughs> Is what's important here. Yeah. I'm here to tell you I will not be in the debate tonight. Hell no. You can watch that debate and you will see an empty podium. And you will know it's my podium. And you know why yeah. that is? Yeah. Because I am not the underscore of Donald Trump. No. No. You're not an idiot. No, I'm not an idiot. Donald Trump is not above me. I am not his opening act, okay? Uh, I. No. I am the guy who's going to be number one, and therefore I will not be at some debate that all you, all the media mm -hmm. is, is controlling to point towards Donald Trump. I won't be there. If you have any questions for me, I'd love to talk to the people directly, and that's what I would do. You know Fuck what I would yeah. do? I would do a Reddit AMA instead of doing the debate. I'm, <laughs> but I'm a forward thinker. Who kid? Now, these old men, none of them know what they're doing. I would do, I would not show up to the debate, and I'd jump on Reddit and say, ask me anything. And i go directly to the people. <laughs> I could be the president. I have all the strategies. <laughs> and you know what I would talk about? How great I am. It works for Donald Trump. It's I working just, right now. Right. I just go on and say, <laughs> you know, the thing about it is I'm very handsome. Oh, yeah. And all these other people are very ugly. You cute motherfucker, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And if there's any question as to my good looks, uh, ask my vice president, DJ Hookid, what do you think of my looks? Approved. Thank you. Thank you very By much. the black people, the Africans. The Africans love me. Vote for Sam Roberts. That's right. That's right. Hashtag Across that. This, booga baga, booga baga. From sea to shining sea. <laughs> if you tuned in, hashtag booga baga, booga baga. From sea to shining sea. I would win this thing. Who, who is uh, the most embarrassed on that lineup right there? Who, I think, let me being see. being up there. I think, I think, I mean, Rand Paul is a joke. 
<laughs> Rand Paul is the guy that Donald Trump Check opened. Oh, he's talking right now. Okay, go ahead. Out of money and paying virtually no tax, and I think it's unfair. Thank you, Mr. Trump, uh, Senator Paul. Now he's talking about taxes. We're having a discussion about taxes because everybody laments that we lose jobs overseas. Well, yeah, our our companies and our jobs are being chased overseas. See, this guy looks like a giant wiener, Rand Paul, <laughs> because Donald Trump opened the debate by saying that he was ugly. So that's that's how Donald Trump opens. He is ugly. Though. He is not an attractive man. Uh, you know, from a from a from a from a, from a, uh, a man's perspective, he's not an attractive guy. So I didn't think about it. Tax, yeah. Eliminating the tax code, getting rid of all the loopholes. And like Donald Trump is a genius mm -hmm. because now, as Rand Paul is talking about flat taxes and God knows what, all I'm thinking about is how ugly his face is because <laughs> Donald brought it up. Yeah, forget about the taxes. So I would say he's humiliated, but I think he came in kind of a wiener. So I think the most humiliated person on the stage has to be Jeb Bush. <laughs> Where is he? I don't he, even see He's him. standing next to Donald Trump. And Donald Trump has been putting him in his place all night. He told him, he said, oh, you came with more energy. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tweeted out, we lost the, uh, the, the tweets are coming in strong, at SR Show SXM. But I did see one of you tweeted that, uh, uh, how long is it going to be before Donald Trump goes, why don't you ask your wife <laughs> <laughs> to any of the candidates? That's what I want to know. Let's go to Ray in Missouri. What's up, Ray? Hi, it's Larry, Sam. Um, oh, what's up, Larry? Well, I'm hearing all the rhetoric, and, and believe me, I'm really gratified that you're really burnishing your journalist credentials as well as being a professional broadcaster. Mm. That's right, Larry. I mean, I mean, just listen to the music. They don't just give that to anyone. Mm -hmm. I also want to greet Mr. Kidd. I don't want to short Mr. Kidd either. Oh, no, thank you, sir. That's right. Mm -hmm. But what I'm hearing, and, and, I, and, and I, I don't know if you agree with me, but I, all I'm hearing is populist rhetoric. And there's nothing up there that's ideologically driven. They're trying to wrap themselves in some sort of ideology. But it's mostly just populist rhetoric, which eventually just makes a whole bunch of noise makes a bunch of big splashes, but they never win elections. Honestly, that's why, that's why, that's, that's the wow. one admirable thing I will say about Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump is actually pointing out how much nonsense and rhetoric the whole process is. That's what I, that's, that, that's my favorite part of the whole thing is that Donald Trump is going up there and the fact that he's making such a mockery of the whole process is only pointing out that the process has always been a mockery. Mm -hmm. So you think he's actually doing an extremely intelligent parody so that he can prove that he can rise above the mediocrity and the rhetoric and actually accomplish something? No, I think it's I think it's more of an ego trip for him. I like it because societally, I think that's where it lands if you really start to get cerebral about yeah. it. But I think Donald Trump figured out that the whole thing was a joke, that the whole system was a joke, and he could completely play the system. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's not doing it in order... To expose it, he's doing it to take advantage of it, and so he could get some exposure for himself. I mean, it's just a it's just a matter of him pushing himself. But I do think that he figured out that the whole thing was a joke, and he could work the system. Mm -hmm. He is in it for the long haul. I truly believe he is. He expects to win. He is in it for the long haul. Here's what I think. Here's how I think the whole thing happened. As we're watching the hashtag GOP's nuts debate, <laughs> um, I believe. Larry, that Donald Trump popped in and he said, all right, I'll get some headlines, I'll get on some TV shows, mm. I'll give it a good couple months, and then I'll bow out. And he jumped in not expecting to make a giant splash. He jumps in and he takes the lead. And now, now he's decided that he's all in. Now he's decided that there is no stopping him. And what he's done is he's controlled all these debates. It's, it's insane. The Trump show. It's, yeah, that all these candidates, I'd be so fucking, I'd be furious mm -hmm. if I was running for Republican president right now because the media has just decided, okay, whatever direction you're going in, Trump, that's where we're going. We're following you, buddy. You're in charge. And you got fucking whatever this chick's name is, Carly Figarino, going, so what? I'm keeping up with you and Trump? It's bullshit. Well, um, Sam, it's extremely interesting, and one thing for sure, he is sucking all the oxygen out of the room. Uh, I'll let someone else get on the... It was good to speak with you, Mr. Kidd and Sammy. Uh, and thank you, sir. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Oh, Larry's watching it, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad we can provide the service. You're actually right, because Trump, Trump has had more questions directed at him than Carson, Rubio, Huckabee, and Walker combined. <laughs> combined. And, dude, I'm not kidding. That's crazy. When he's not getting questions directed to him, the other people are getting questions about him. <laughs> 
CNN, this whole thing is a joke. CNN realized that Fox News did insane ratings for yeah. a debate a year and a half before the election's even happening. <laughs> the election's not even happening anytime soon. And, and, and Fox News does these insane numbers. CNN figures out it's all because of Trump. So they're like, okay, we're going to give Trump his own show. We're going to call it a debate. And yeah. we're going to make everybody else look like fools because they'll show up. And Chris Christie's going to pretend to be a tough guy yeah. who's like there for the people. He looks like a giant asshole right now. Can you explain something to me? Because I'm an African American. Oh, we, yeah, but I don't. I don't think that the reason. For now, okay. Because I don't pay taxes. What's a flat tax? A flat tax, you see, DJ. They brought it up in the. the You're not quite sure about what it is. I don't pay taxes. I don't know. (laughs) Right. I understand that. I understand. See ya. I get. I get that. I understand. Well, you see, a flat tax is. uh, (laughs) What the fuck are they talking about? No, I understand. Like you don't even. You want me to explain tax before I explain flat tax? No, I don't even know what tax. I I don't pay it. Right. right. I don't know what the fuck they talking about it for. A flat tax, you see, who kid is when they decide, Mm -hmm. okay, you're going to pay, uh, say, fifteen percent of your income right now fuck that no everybody has to pay taxes yeah yes okay right now Uh. everybody uh like the rich people the more money you make Mm. the higher the percentage of your taxes you'll pay so if you make millions of dollars uh, uh, you'll you're gonna pay a higher percentage of that than you would if you made 20 percent, 25 percent. yeah because you're rich right Mm. a flat tax is saying well People who are rich are making more money anyway. So if it's ten percent across the board, everybody should ten percent of thirty thousand dollars. You're only paying three thousand dollars. Ten percent of three million dollars is three hundred thousand. Yeah. So we're getting three hundred thousand from him, three thousand from him, and it's flat. It's across the board. It's ten percent. Oh. See what I mean? So they, what they're oh. proposing is a flat tax where it would be ten percent. Are we done? Wednesday. Are we? I, we went to commercial on the yeah, CNN debate. Well, rich people are crying because they get taxed more. The rich people don't want it. The rich people are the ones who love a flat tax. Mm, okay. Because they're like, look, we're already paying too much. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks for telling me because I don't pay. I know you're fine either way. So whether they decide to make it a flat tax, whether they decide to raise, lower, zero tax doesn't matter to you. <laughs> Matt in California, welcome to Sam Roberts Show. Mm-hmm. Dude, you guys need to just keep. Doing this on every debate. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm here to inform the people. I'm providing yeah. a service. As a matter of fact, I have some music that explains just what I'm doing. You see? You see, I'm trying yeah. to break it down so everybody can know exactly. News, nigga. Because there's a lot of people that listen to Sam Roberts' show that don't necessarily watch the debates, mm. that don't necessarily know what's going on. I'm here to inform the world. And the truth. And the truth. That's the, the main focus here. Exactly. Mm. I break through all the bullshit. The real deal. Yeah, and I'm totally digging it. It's fucking it's killing. Thank you very much, Matt in California. Mm. Look, yeah, I'm here to because people need to make informed decisions, and you can't make informed decisions unless you have the information. That's why it's informed. Mm-hmm. You know? You're a smart motherfucker, too, man. I am. I was just thinking that. Smart I have a lot of cute, knowledge. Man. You're smart <laughs> and cute. Well, thank you very much, my vice president, SNC. DJ Hookin. I'm telling you. <laughs> SNC. SNC. Smart, smart and cute. cute. <laughs> that's my <laughs> That's my campaign. You get some votes over that. Vote smart. <laughs> vote cute. Vote <laughs> Sam Roberts. And hold a teddy bear. That's right. <laughs> Oh, I'm bad. Holy shit. George W. Bush mm. is not even sort of cute. <laughs> president Obama is not as smart as he should is be. That ad? <laughs> Do you want a president that's not smart or cute? Hell no. Sam Roberts is smart and cute. Hell yeah. When you vote, vote smart and cute. Vote mm-hmm. Sam Roberts. Yep. No, I mean you're right, dude. Kid, I'm gonna I'm gonna hire you uh, to be my uh, my campaign manager. Oh, yeah, I'm a marketing dude. You man. are a marketing dude, is yeah, right. Yeah. And I'll say, who kid? Isn't this kind of an expensive thing? Like we'll have to pay taxes. You go, don't worry about that. I, I got that no tax, man. All we do is just tweet it out. Right. <laughs> Tweeting is free, dog. Fuck all that fucking posters. Tweeting is free. You know what I'm saying? Just tweet it, man. Remember, vote smart, vote cute, vote Sam Roberts. Hashtag GOP's <laughs> nuts. SNC, SNC, I'm SNC. Let's go to TJ in uh, New Jersey. What's Holy up, TJ? Shit. What's going on, fellas? How are you? Uh, hey, listen, I just wanted to say, collectively, these guys all look like they're villains from a Dick Tracy movie. <laughs> they do. <laughs> the, I, I think Donald Trump is flat top. <laughs> 
Uh, I'd say Jeb villains. Jeb Bush is mumbles. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Chris, I think uh, Chris, uh, I think Chris Christie is just a fat fuck. Right, Chris Christie is a new villain. His name's Fat Fuck. Uh, I think that uh, Rand Paul is prune face. Actually. <laughs> Is Our, it, you, know, you know, you guys are not that far fetched for what you're talking about. They're right? all they're super villains up there. <laughs> this is like the opposite of the Avengers. Oh my lord! Yeah, let's go to. If you want to call the show, eight six six. It's the opposite. <laughs> He's, uh, Donald Trump's looking at him. You didn't seem to know the details about some of the enemies the U.S. faces. Oh, Who, they're asking him. He got Donald Trump did an interview. He didn't mm -hmm. know the difference between what was it, the the Cuds and the Kurds. Mm. Well, I heard you, you, it, a nice man. He apologized because he actually said that we had a misunderstanding. And he said today that Donald Trump is maybe the best interview there is anywhere that he's ever done. <laughs> uh, unless he was just saying that on CNN to be nice. But he did say that. Oh, uh, you're the best statement? interview in America. And we had a legitimate misunderstanding in terms of his pronunciation of a word. But uh, I would say just... He's blaming the interviewer. Well, I think it was. And he actually said that. Did you say that? Oh, so radio together. makes an interesting thing. Okay. So uh, I will say this, though. Oh, this is great. Uh, he was giving me this is name great. after name, Arab name, Arab name, Arab. and there are few people. How can a president even say that? Arab name, Arab name, Arab name. I don't know. There are a bunch of Arab names. Who knows? And frankly, I will have, and I told him, I will have the finest team that anybody's put together, and we will solve a lot of problems. You know, right now, they know a lot, and look at what's happening. The world is blowing up around us. We will have great teams and great people. Mm. I love so this Donald Trump, Trump strategy. So simple. Donald's going like, you know, I may be a fucking idiot, but I got tons of money, and I will hire smart people with that money. Uh, great people. I think if you're running for president, these are important issues, because look around the world today. There is a lunatic in North Korea with dozens of nuclear weapons. Oh, I know what his villain name is. That's Marco Rubio. <laughs> That's Dick Face. Where did he come from? Like, is he telling us something we don't know? No, this is urethra mouth. <laughs> his mouth is a pee hole. important shipping lane in the world. A gangster in Moscow is not just threatening Europe. He's threatening to destroy and divide NATO. He's not even you have tough. Radical jihad <laughs> He's not, is he? stuttering, he? He is. He is. Would you vote for that man who can? He's a pussy. To, to try to attack us here at home. And now we've got this horrible deal with Iran where a radical Shia cleric with an apocalyptic vision of the future is also guaranteed to one day possess nuclear weapons. Oh, he's also, also guaranteed to one day possess nuclear weapons. Well, well, what website was he on? <laughs> exactly, this guy. <laughs> he's a world star. Stay off InfoWars. <laughs> and has good judge judgment about him. Bro, How great would it be? I, I swear to God, I would end this radio show today and so say right. I retire because there'll never be anything better if Donald <laughs> Trump just went, Hey, Marco, t -t -t today, Junior! <laughs> <laughs> That's what he needs to do. Step it up, Trump. You know, stuttering and the presidency don't match. He bro. can't. They don't. Hell what no. is this, the King's speech? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't think he's well, suggesting that. Well, that's why we have that. a debate. I think that we should have a deeper debate about these issues. because what if is he is a pussy? A they were just saying, were you taking a shot at Trump? And Rubio is like, I don't know. You'd be the judge. I don't know. That Mr. Trump does well, not that's have. What this, well, you should ask him questions in detail about the foreign policy issues our president will confront. Because you better be able to lead our country on the first day. Not six months from now, not a year from now. On the first day in office, our president could very well confront. Trump's going to go, what you don't know is I roll 50 deep wherever I go. First day, I got my staff, okay? Yeah. Wouldn't you relax, comb over? <laughs> it regulates bathrooms. It regulates schools that belong to, to, to local communities. But the one thing that He's the government... He's stuttering again. He is. He is. One thing he can't, he can't match with them. Can do is His red safe. power and tie. You're not impressing anybody, <laughs> douche. Just <laughs> 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 those stutter dudes. <laughs> stutter dude. Well, you have to understand, I am not sitting in the United States Senate with, by the way, the worst voting record there is today. <laughs> oh. uh, number one. I am not sitting in the United States. He's always got to drop those in. Man doing business <laughs> transactions. Okay. That's the insult sandwich, by the way. That voting thing. That was just a little meat inside the insult sandwich. That was very acceptable. And when you listened to that whole interview, it was a great interview. You said it. I didn't. <laughs> but I will listen. Just one second. He addressed one second. I never get addressed. I will know. I'm going to jump in. I will know more about the problems of this world by the time. I sit, and you look at what's going on in this world right now by right. people that supposedly know this world is a mess. Preach, yes. Senator preach. Rubio, he did yeah, invoke he did. your absentee me, record in the I'm Senate. I'm proud to serve in the United States Senate. You know, when I ran five years ago, the entire leadership of my party in Washington lined up against me. But I'm glad I won, and I'm glad that I ran, because this country's headed in the wrong direction. 
And if we keep electing the same people, nothing is going to change. Mm. And you're right, I have missed some votes, and I'll tell you why, Mr. Trump. Oh, Jesus in my Christ. Years in the Don't Senate, in... I figured out very quickly. You know what Trump has never done? Admit a mistake. Yeah. He went on Fallon's show, and Fallon said, uh, have you ever apologized? And yeah. Trump said, well, I've never been wrong. Exactly. So I've never had to apologize. <laughs> so he's a real dude, man. Who, Trump? Mm. You like that, right? Yeah. Look at him. You don't even care. No, he's like, fuck this guy. <laughs> Look at his chin. <laughs> he's just sitting there. with. He sticks his chin out wherever he goes. <laughs> Trump is like, I'm not worried about it. He goes, Rubio, I ain't worried about nothing. Hey, you Rubio, that. I ain't worried about nothing. Look at his mullet. <laughs> you think Trump has a mullet? <laughs> Hell yeah. He does. He's got a com he's, he's, he's comb over on the top, party in the back. Billy Ray. <laughs> He, and just like Billy Ray Cyrus, he would fuck his daughter. So. The 21st would century can be the greatest era that our nation has ever known. Thank you, Senator Rubio. I want Not without one of those Donald Trump hats. <laughs> I've done a lot of great interviews with all of you, but Governor Bush, I talked to you in February about the biggest elephant in a room full of elephants, which is Chris Christie. And oh. you told me that you would not be burdened either by your brother or your father's legacy in the Middle East. Mm. And then a week later, you rolled out your list of foreign policy. Jeb advice. Bush just has this look on his face look right now. He's just looking like, fuck my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> what happened to me? My father hates me. He just has. <laughs> I would just have a photo of Jeb Bush and it just said FML oh. under it. Fuck my life life Wait. how did this happen i was the good one jeb bush wasn't supposed to be the black sheep who kid he's the good one two administrations that happen to be 41 he's like fuck i fixed the election for my brother okay i literally i, I robbed a man of being the president of the united states oh, yeah. for my brother mm -hmm. and what does it get me humiliated by a reality show star on the fucking CNN debate. Look at him, look at him. This is embarrassing. The fact that the United States needs to lead the world. The first thing that we need to do is to stop the craziness of the sequester. Rebuild our military so that our so that we don't... Uh, 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 let's go to some calls. 866-969-1969. His father hates him. His father is just like, <laughs> I wish I was dead already. Well, I'm, 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 there's, uh, do you know why... Do you know why Jeb Bush's father, George H.W. Bush, mm. goes skydiving at 90 years old? Because he's embarrassed. <laughs> They're like, Dad, what if the chute doesn't open? He's like, fingers crossed. <laughs> I poked some holes in it. So... <laughs> This is, a, this is a damn shame. Yeah, it really is. He's like Jeb. You were supposed to. You were. You were the great white hope of oh the Bush family. God, man. And you're letting this fucking. This man's been a joke since the 1980s, and he's walking all over you. He's stomping up a political mud hole in your ass. Is the is the older Bush still alive? He's still alive, right? George H. W. Yeah, what? he's still alive. He oh, wishes yeah. he was, and he's watching his son. He's like 120. Yeah, he's very old, but he wears colorful socks, so it helps. He's still at the CIA. I don't know if he's still there. He's out there chilling. <laughs> Let's go, go to Billy in New York. Look. Yo, what up, Sam? How you doing, Billy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What up, yo? What up, dogs? Oh, man, this is some funny shit. Uh, Hang on a lot, man. Yeah. Trump, he had my vote for a minute. <laughs> How do you screw <laughs> it up? It tonight. He looks like a moron. <laughs> oh, he's talking. Shh. Billy, maybe he's going to win you back right here. But I have to say something because it's about judgment. I am the only person on this day is the only person that fought very, very hard against us. And I wasn't a sitting politician going into Iraq because I said going into Iraq. That was in 2003. You can check it out. Check out. I'll give you 25 different stories. In fact, a delegation was sent to my office to see me because I was so It's so great because Trump, he, this is where he's taking advantage of the fact that he wasn't a politician. Uh -huh. So he, there is no vote. He didn't have to vote on whether or not we went to war. Mm -hmm. So he's sitting there going like, no, I said on a radio show one time we shouldn't go to war. I got 25 stories. <laughs> right. I went on DJ Who Kid's show <laughs> yes, and said did. it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> he actually did. What's going I on, watched, Billy? I watched, I watched the... Uh, what what they call it when they first bombed uh, Iraq? No, uh, GOP's nuts. <laughs> uh, when they first bombed Iraq, uh, what was that? You mean uh, whatever? Fifteen uh, years ago? Oper oper Operation fucking. Uh Oh, what was it called again? Operation oh, shock, uh, shock and awe. Shock and awe. Yeah, I was about to say seek and destroy, but I don't think that was it. Either way, it should have worked out. Either way. <laughs> yeah. Fucking top top gun motherfuckers like yeah we getting them. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this motherfucker he ruined everything. Who who did? He, he, uh, Trump he he <laughs> had them he had them on the go, and then they all started talking about like like real shit. Yeah. And he's like. Like, oh, wait, he's talking again. It. Hang on. Your brother and your brother's administration gave us Barack Obama because it was such a disaster <laughs> oh. this last three months that Abraham Lincoln couldn't have been elected. 
As it relates to my brother, there's one thing I know for sure. He kept us safe. I don't know if you remember. Trump's like, oh, by the way, your brother fucking sucks. What are you going to do about it, Jeb? Your little brother's a piece of shit. He's a moron. What are you going to do about it, buddy? You remember the firefighter with his arm around it? He sent a clear signal that the United States would be strong and fight Islamic terrorism. And he did keep us safe. I don't know. You feel safe right now? I don't feel so safe. Hell no. Man, well, that's because of Barack. That's because of Barack <laughs> Obama. My brother. That's because of Barack Obama. We've had a president. Oh, my president. God. Trump is killing him. Trump is killing him. He's like, by the way, I want you to know something, Jeb. Your brother's an asshole. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Huh? Are you going to fight me? I mean, mm -hmm. George Bush erased the World Trade Center from us. You think that's what happened? Yep. Fuck who kid. Fuck that. But the, uh, you're going you're gonna to offend Steve ran as easy. I love those buildings. That shit is out of here. There's <laughs> a bush. Let's go, to, let's go to Nick in Texas. Fucking bush. What's going on, Nick? Hello? Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, first off, I'm a long time listener of your show. I'm finally glad to be back. Finally get my subscription back to you. Seriously, I love your show. Awesome, but thanks. One, personally, from what I just heard, I feel less safe with this comfort to be our president. I mean, for Barack <laughs> Obama, he had his downsides. Mm -hmm. At least he got shit done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you this: what you're not, what you're failing to realize is Trump is especially handsome, mm. and a lot of the other candidates are not as handsome. Trump, mm. and this is uh, uh, this is actually breaking news. <laughs> yes, yes. You Trump. <laughs> Trump is among the most handsome of all the candidates on stage tonight at the Republican debate. So, Nick, at the same time, you're comparing them to like the. To the evil sidekick, in evil sidekick, like that, they call it a Dick Tracy movie. He is right, though. Rand Paul does have <laughs> does have a rat face. He does have a rat yeah. face. Thank you very much, Nick. Let's sure. go to uh, Melissa, Miss Melissa mm -hmm. in Virginia. Welcome to Sam Roberts Show. What's up? You guys need to do this for every single political show. This is absolutely the best way to uh, see what's going on. I just had a question for who kid. Mm -hmm. So if you don't actually pay your taxes, is it safe to assume you've probably never voted or you're not a registered voter? I voted for Obama, yeah. <laughs> you have to, right? You did vote? And uh, they left you without paying taxes? Well, how did you present your driver's license when you voted, being that it's been suspended 11 times and I you don't my, have it? I used my dad's ID. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. He used his dad's ID to vote. There's, there's a lot of fucking loopholes in America, man. It's America. It is. And, and, and you know what? Trump, in an effort to make America <laughs> great, you better make sure he doesn't ruin any of your loopholes. Yeah. 866-969-1969 is the phone number to call. That's 866-969-1969 to talk to us here on Sam Roberts Show. If you want to tweet along, at SR Show, mm. SXM is the Twitter address, and you can hashtag GOP's Nuts. Or hashtag Booga Bugga Booga Bugga. Uh, I don't know if anybody could spell that. They did. I got like four. <laughs> David <laughs> in Texas. What's going on, David? Hey, Sammy. How you doing? Good, pal. Hey, uh, I was just going to say, um, I, I I always thought Trump was an idiot and a dickhead <laughs> yeah. and a jerk. But right. His, but you pointed out his 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 greatness to me that now I'm all in for Trump. You got to be. Think, this is what, and I'll tell you something. <laughs> because I talk to people, especially like, you know, in my personal life and around here, like people that I interact with in person, because people in New York and people in California, Los Angeles area, they're different from the rest of the country. Mm -hmm. So like everybody in New York is like nobody wants Trump to win. You know, nobody 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 wants Trump. But I'm like, yeah, they do. He's ahead in all the polls. It's just that we live either in New York or California. They get so frustrated when they find out that I'm legitimately good. I will absolutely vote for Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. They get so I frustrated when they find that out. Wait until they find out I got people like David in Texas that are changing their votes because of the voice oh, wow. that yeah, well, I have here on Sam Roberts' show. Gee. Well, you, you pointed out to me that the the amazing intelligence of him it's it's, it's crazy but I just want to say who kid army nigga yeah, <laughs> whatever it is yeah yeah, yeah. never yeah. is <laughs> never me, it is got me hype right now. The army, the army is real. This is, what about this black guy? What about Ben Carson? Destroy us. They are Who the hell is this? He was, he's a neurosurgeon and he's running for president. Well, yeah, get him out he's of only in second. He's in, <laughs> I, he's, a lot of polls have him in second place behind Trump. He doesn't even look cool. We have to recognize we have two choices. We either allow them to progress. Obama look cool, man. What do you think of his voice? Huh? 
or we use every resource you, available Carson. to us to destroy like It's interesting that you say yogurt. that because I want to ask uh, <laughs> Governor Christie about I have some else. yogurt in the back of my throat. Uh, before I could get through with this point, there's some Fuck strawberry out. yogurt in the back of my throat. Shut up, homie. Been president at the time, the United Okay, Chris Christie is getting his chance. No, Chris shit. Christie always gets upset because they don't talk to him enough because nobody cares. He's not sure. winning. Would respond as president if America were attacked again. He, well, Jake, uh, he gave Obama a hug and squeezed his ass cheek and it ruined his career. September 10th, 2001. <laughs> I saw that. that was and then next you day, did, right? my wife, Mary Pat, did what she did every day. She traveled through the World Trade Center and went to her office two blocks mm -hmm. from the World Trade Center. And after those planes hit for five and a half hours, mm -hmm. after that, I couldn't reach her. Didn't know whether she was dead or alive. All right, relax with the, like, you're not a fucking hero. I wasn't doing anything. I don't know. Huh? The question was, how do you respond to Carson saying he would not have gone to war in Afghanistan after 9-11? And Chris Christie's being like, for those that don't know, that was a very sad day. And apparently Ben Carson doesn't realize that. And Trump is going to go, you know, I got to tell you guys, 9-11 was a complete disaster. The only disaster bigger than 9-11 is the way New Jersey has been run over the past several years. I mean, New Jersey, Atlantic City is in the toilet. And quite frankly, it's the governor's fault. Chris Christie is on stage with us. You're so right. <laughs> you You're know, like really right. Man. I am. Holy shit. I know this guy. I have studied Donald Trump. 866-969-1969 is the phone number. Mm -hmm. Craig in Connecticut. Sam Roberts, mm. hi. What's up, pal? Hey, I've got the solution. Yeah. Oh, shit. Donald Trump buys, like, a 20-mile plot of land in South Dakota. Mm hmm And then, you know how he built the Waldman rink? Yeah. The ice skating rink? Mm hmm Well, he builds a demonstration wall mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. like a 10- or 20-mile wall. Mm-hmm. Just to show these fuckers what he's made of. So he's just going to build a, just buy some property and build a giant wall <laughs> yeah. just to be like, this is just an example of the walls that I have in mind. Like, he's really just going, right. he's going. And he, put, and he puts your hat on top of it that he owes you. Right. He'll put the Make America Great hat again, which I don't understand. Adrian. You got to get us to make America great hats. I got card. You do? Mm -hmm. Are you really going to get them for the show? Because yeah. I'm the fucking. There's no radio show on the planet, and anybody who's listens to this show knows I'm from day buy fucking you the one. Fucking mm -hmm. Huh? I'm, I'm going to buy you the fucking hat. I'm so tired. Of it. <laughs> Somebody's got to because I'm trying to make America great, and I can't do it because my hat, my head is cold. Uh. So listen, listen. Anyways, listen. You got to, you got to hear this. You know how the Pope is going to speak Spanish when he comes to the United States? Yeah, and that's that's what tomorrow uh, next week he's coming. He just. Tweeted Asucha me Donald Trump, which mm -hmm. means suck me Donald Trump in Spanish. <laughs> what? <laughs> he wrote the Pope wrote that? Yeah, yeah. I heard yeah, about that. He, he's not going to put up with that shit. We got to fix this. Mm. Wow. Oh, that is vulgar. Thank you so much, Craig. I can't believe, and I got to go to Google Translate to really double check that. You also got Nicki Minaj going to be on, on on the stage with the Pope too. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Is she going to be playing Anaconda? Because mm -hmm. she was not happy that that video wasn't nominated. <laughs> Viva la America! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, that's that right. Means. I don't know. <laughs> oh gosh. Chris Christie, this blowhard, is on TV, still trying to get something. You don't even need to put his volume up. No, it's like, it's like, what is this, the No Chance Brigade? Talking about You're, nothing. This is, like, this is him talking right now. This is it, yeah. Here, here's everything Chris Christie has said tonight. Go ahead. There it is, Chris Christie, ladies and gentlemen. That's what he has to contribute. He's talking about nothing. He is. He's in the No Chance Brigade. He's, uh, he's not getting anything. And Mr. Really Nothing. He's talking to Mr. Really Nothing. Who's the black guy again? My God, uh, I'm looking at it. Go back to the tweet replies, uh, Adrian, because I want to read uh, uh, Gunner ACAB just tweeted to at SR Show SXM. Mm -hmm. Tonight, he's having Sammy Brand muffins with a side of GOP's nuts for dinner. <laughs> Let's see what this Ben Carson is all about. Oh, because no. our Marine Corps... I can't believe the debate's still on. It's been on for two hours, two and a half hours. What time is it? It's, it's, we've, I didn't think we were going to have to do another long first break. I came in a little late. Did they talk about the economy? Yeah, I guess. I think we were making fun of people while they were doing oh, that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they brought up the economy. I guess it doesn't matter. You know what Donald Trump said? Yeah. He's an excellent businessman. The economy's no problem. <laughs> so we're, we're all set as far as the economy goes. He's getting oh. us out of debt? Uh, yeah, he's gonna. He is. He's gonna oh, get us out of debt. Shit. And then uh, Marco Rubio said, "But Donald Trump, you went bankrupt." And Donald Trump said, "Fuck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for Trump." That's a real. That's real. Yeah, uh, Rubio's talking again. 
radical jihadist group on the ground there as well. You cannot allow radical jihadists. Okay, somebody, I, 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 I like, I like okay. this one. Are you serious, guy? Okay, Joe DeRosa's chin on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Joe DeRosa's chin just tweeted at SR Show SXM mm -hmm. a photo of uh, Rand Paul, and he's literally photoshopped balls on his chin. No, he did not. Yes, yeah. and it says uh, Rand Paul is a jizz, ga ga jizz gobbling ball bag. Uh, influencing, uh, not Sam is influencing the vote. Hashtag. GOP's nuts. <laughs> yeah, these guys are going in. Now uh, listen to Huckabee. Huckabee, this Huckabee is the fucking a lunatic, half a Nazi, at this point, in my opinion, who went to help Kim Davis not let gay people get married. He went and gave her husband who wears overalls a hug. The guy wears overalls to a courtroom to get his wife out of jail, oh. and he gives him a hug. He wears a straw hat for God's sake. Well, that's he's the word loser when you hear him talk. He is. What is he? What is he, what is he there for? <laughs> Just, just to be, he is the juxtaposition. You got Donald Trump on one side, yeah. who if he doesn't win, mm. he'll talk you into believing that he's won. <laughs> and Huckabee on the other side, that even if he does win, he opens his mouth and convinces you that he's a complete loser. 866-969-1969 is the phone number to call Sam Roberts Show here. We are watching this GOP debate live. Mm. I can't believe how long it's gone on for. I, I can't believe Al Sharpton is not there. Well, he's not a Republican. Why would he be there? He needs to be there. This is a joke right here. Just jumping on stage. The, the fact that they I all... I am upset <laughs> that none of you have brought up blueberry pie. <laughs> I've been watching this debate, and none of y'all have brought up blueberry pie. What? <laughs> this is why you got fired, Reverend Al. From, I'm still on Sundays. I didn't get fired. Every Sunday, I, I let you know what's going on in the world and give you my recipe for a <laughs> delicious pie. He's like our favorite bobblehead. I saw Al Sharpton today. I swear to God, I was what? eating. I was I was eating near uh, Rockefeller Center. He was there. And middle middle of lunch, I looked out the window, mm -hmm. and there's fucking big head walking down the street. He looks Get like the hell a, out of here. he looks like. Uh, you ever see the movie Freaks from the 1930s? <laughs> That's what Al Sharpton looks like. He's he looks crazy. like Al Sharpton walks down the street looking like Zippy the Pinhead. That's what Al Sharpton <laughs> looks like. I, I interviewed him before, and it only you know how I got him. Uh, he he used to get hit by one of my interns. He did. Yeah, that's how I got the interview. Okay, I'm gonna say that that's uh, mm -hmm. according to DJ Hookit. I don't yeah. know for sure, but you know, no, he did. He got hit. Okay, by, and then I mean, uh, she was she kind of like not really threatened him, but was like, "Yo, Hookit wants you on the show." All right, and I mean, he came. If you're telling me, I you know, I I have no choice but to believe you. I suppose. He sucks some dick. He gets a political guy. You got this guy. This is uh, this is like the multiplicity clone of Marco Rubio, the one that's not quite as good. He's basically going up there being like, I'm Marco Rubio. I like pizza. Because you have said that the boots on the ground to fight ISIS need to be Arab boots. Uh, we just Arab boots? <laughs> What's an Arab boot? $500 million <laughs> you tell to me. help create yeah. those Arab boots. There are only four or five U.S. trained fighters in Syria fighting ISIS. Mm -hmm. When do we start making you, boots? The effectiveness of the idea of <laughs> Arab boots, boots made in the United Arab States. Arab boots. If you want boots on the ground, stop talking about boots. To be our sons and daughters. <laughs> you got 14 other choices. There will always be a. First of all, I want to know who let Mr. Ugly over here talk about boots all night. Am I right, people? Arab yeah, boots. Trump. Yeah, Trump. Arab, Arab boots. Arab boots. Are those the new? Maybe those are the new. Uh, the Yeezy fly drums? shit. Yeah, the Yeezy Arab boots. <laughs> <laughs> I told you Kanye West is influencing this political yeah. shit. Kanye West is like, in 2020, I'm going to have the new Kanye Araba boots. <laughs> Araba boots on the ground. Thousand dollars, nigga. <laughs> any of the people, any of the migrants that have been, the refugees that are being pushed out of Syria, Saudi Arabia is not accepting one. Why are we always the world's patsies that we have to go over there and fight their wars for them? Don't talk about patsies when you're showing up to a debate to let Donald Trump insert himself inside of you. You're the patsy, okay? Yeah, America is a superpower. You know what's happening? I'll tell you what's happening to Rand Paul. <laughs> Rand Paul showing up at these debates time after time is like Charlie Brown running up to that football. He's like, don't worry. Lucy's not going to take it this time. I'm going to be able to kick a field goal. Oh, it's not going to be a problem. And that's it every time after the oh, debate. Oh, man. Oh, man. They asked Trump all the questions. And then he said I was ugly. Well, they go, your man. Oh, this guy. You think that's my man? That's your boy right there. And, uh, and you win the bigger war with the battle of ideas. You wonder why young people and educated Talks people, like rich jerk. people, school he does. People, He's a fucking jerk. He's not a loser. Isis. He's a jerk. Western civilization, all of us need to wake up to the fact 
that those murderers and rapists <laughs> called out, and in Western civilization, we need to make it clear. Who's not calling out murderers and rapists? Christian no, let him go. He's a good guy. No, I know he murdered and raped. Let him go. He's a good guy. Justice, so that we can battle the radicals, call them out for what they are, and mm -hmm. make sure that all of our people feel fulfilled in living in Western civilization. Thank you, this Dan is Bass. a giant Jay, battle since, in the world since today. Since everyone has gotten to weigh in on this military issue, I'd like to be able to do the same. We have spent... Oh, Carly Figarino. Let's go to Bruce in Florida again. The phone number to call, 866-969-1969. As we give you coverage of the Republican candidate CNN debate, also known as trump -a mania 2015. They decided, CNN's just decided... Ratings are not great. Mm. Don Lemon is a complete joke of a man. Yep. We need something that people are going to watch. We're going to give Donald Trump apparently seven hours of airtime because this show is still on. This is ridiculous. It is fucking insane. Mm. Uh, all right, let's go to Bruce in Florida. What's going on, Bruce? Sam, you there, pal? Yeah, buddy. You have reached the new high water mark for this program. <laughs> professional broadcast to you. Is that right? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> MCB, no chance for Dade. Uh, all right, who you have? You got no chance for Dade or DX Circa 2001. Whoa. <laughs> well, I guess this is DX Circa 2001 yeah. because anybody who's, who's not listening to this extreme coverage, yeah. uh, I have two words for you, and those words are suck it. <laughs> oh, brother. Yeah. Yeah, all that's right. right. Hey, did uh, what's his name get at you before the debates? Uh, who? I don't know who you're talking about. GOP's nuts. GOP's nuts. How do you get caught? Hasht you're with my own thing. Oh, man, you're the worst. Hashtag GOP's nuts. It's going crazy. It says uh, 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 Maverick305 mm -hmm. on Twitter just tweeted at SR Show SXM. Mm -hmm. When Rubio talks, I hear Antonio Banderas saying, let's play, weirdo. <laughs> he is a complete weirdo. Let's go to Chris out there in the Bronx. Chris, what's going on in the BX? What's up, fellas? How, How you, you doing? doing? Mm. Uh, it, it, listen, Sam, you were never that funny in ONA. Uh, <laughs> uh, God damn you. The funniest you've ever been. Thank you. And uh, you know, who kid, or your real name's Eves, but... Damn, it's snitches. It is. It's so much. E Eves Mondesir is here in the studio. I'm, I'm out of here. You are, you are one funny man. <laughs> I'm good, man. man. I'm right. But those damn taxes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, thank you very much, Chris. I appreciate the call and the compliment. All right, buddy, I'll talk to you later. We'll keep informing you. So the rent is too damn high. Why don't we have Jimmy McMillan up there on stage at this point? It's a fucking joke. It's a complete joke. Oh, we got Rubio. Bush oh, this isn't Rubio. I mean, Ted Cruz. What's the difference at this Ted point? Cruz. They're all the same dude. Rubio, Ted Cruz, Mike Huckabee. They're all fucking jokes. These guys, uh... Thank you, Senator. George W. Bush. <laughs> He's saying, all right, Senator, be quiet. <laughs> the consequences of that. If instead, if President, instead Bush, <laughs> President Bush, Jones and Mike Ludig, yeah, they all sound candidate. like pussies. Exactly. These Obama guys. Kerry here's what happens. Mm. You know who runs for president? You know, I'm going to explain career politicians to you, DJ Who Kid. Mm. It's guys that uh, are not funny, cannot play any sport. Mm. There he is. Bobby oh, Kelly's coming oh, in. Yeah. Not funny. Can't play any sport. Oh shit! It's about and to get turned up. <laughs> and got beaten up a lot. Now they're on a quest for power. And so they do it this way in these debates. Bobby Kelly just came in and dick bumped. DJ Who Kid. Hell yeah, no homo. Let me, wait, let me turn it red. It's red. Make them red, baby. Bobby, we've been uh, giving this. And by the way, now we have our new correspondent out in the field. He is the correspondent. Of Hollywood, California, and ladies and gentlemen, our uh, our uh, debate 2015 correspondent Robert Kelly has arrived in studio. Uh, uh, Sam, how you doing? I'm out here on the streets right now. Um, things are pretty crazy. I mean, let me just stop and ask the first. Hi, how are you? Um, what did you think about the debate? And would you vote for Donald Trump? I think he's <laughs> the same a winner. People. He's a winner. Now we need somebody like him in government. Now, well, you know, we need them. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, now, uh, you know, I mean, uh, did you watch the debate? No, I didn't. 
I don't need have a television because the Democrats have stolen all my money. I can't afford it. Okay, all right. Thank you, ma'am. Sam, you know, that's pretty much the vibe down here, Sam. Well, thanks, Bob. I appreciate you being our on-the-scene reporter. We've been watching. The debate started, okay, an hour before I went on the air. Really? The show's been on almost an hour and a half, and we haven't taken a break because the debate's been on the entire time. This is a never-ending circus. Oh, it's the Lord. best thing that's ever happened to television. Have you been watching it at all tonight? No. It's okay. I mean, you've been, you've been on your you way what. here. I had a show. I had to go to the dinner meeting. <laughs> Hollywood stuff. You know. I know. DJ. Bushy. Who can dick bumps? Uh, this, is, this is how it... This is, this is still my highlight of the night. This is uh, Donald Trump talking to Rand Paul. I want to just catch you up. Oh, God. I never attacked him on his look. And believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure Rich Voss He's killing is him. not running for president? He's killing believe him. Believe me, I could attack him. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fucking genius. But believe me. Believe me. It's there. That's, that's Voss's thing. Believe me. <laughs> that's from Voss. I think Voss is writing for Trump. Well, he probably is. At this point, Trump, Trump's got more joke writers than he does, like, policy people behind him. Dude, I, I don't think it's joke writing. I think that's just good old fashioned redneck right wing ball busting that but he's nobody, gotten good at. He has because nobody else can touch him up there. No mm. way. Nobody can fuck it. Listen to Huckabee right now. This is live. Would share live. with you. Every one of us. Our biggest fight wasn't always with the legislature oh. even with the Democrats. My gosh, most of the time it was with the federal government who apparently never understood Thank that you. if it's not reserved in the Constitution, then the Tenth Amendment says it's left to the states, but somebody forgot Thank to send you, a memo to He's like, shut, shut up. Governor. Shut up, Governor. Wow. The guy from CNN is telling you, all right, pipe down, God. You, you, that's like getting the music when you're giving your Oscar speech. Yeah, can you imagine, like, if you're if you're telling me a joke, right, Bob? If you come in here and you're Let like, me tell oh. tell you one. Dude, I'm telling you. You ever, uh, you ever, dude. All right, Bob. Time? Dude, all right, Bob. Like, what? Bob. Okay, shut up, man. No, okay, but the Bob. guy. Let's all right, DJ Who Kid, I wanted to ask I, well, you. See you. Okay, Bob. Sam. Sam. Okay, Bob. One thing. Thing, though. Okay, Peace. Bob. When you're, when you're eating pussy, <laughs> hurt your body. I mean, hurt your body. All right, okay. Bob. Thanks. I don't know. Okay, it's we like have a bomb. It's like, we have you know, a question. cut the red wire. Okay, whatever, Bob. Like DJ, oh, we have a. No, 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 no. We have we'll a question back, we'll for who, kid? It's humiliating. Wow. I don't even know. That just made me angry. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what's the best part. Is that they're fucking? You know, Huckabee is furious. Furious, has and has he has to, to just the, to the amount it. of fucking uh, uh, acting that goes into being a politician is incredible. Because you have to sit there and smile mm -hmm. while you want to fucking rip this nerd from Sienna his neck off and shat down it. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what he wants. Yeah, what he that's wants. all he wants to do yeah. because these guys are used to having power. That's why they're politicians. Oh. They're used to going into a room and being like, in case you don't know, I'm a senator. Yeah. So why don't I decide what we do? Hey, okay? Betty, slap on the ass. Exactly. What are you going to do about it? The American people voted for me. Betty, get me my Monte Cristos. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess, I guess, Betty, it's your word versus mine, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Who are they going to believe? Really? Well, it's, it's embarrassing. Donald Trump just deaded their political energy. They all went in in one way. And Donald Trump just switched to everything. And the media followed him. This is where I was talking to Who <laughs> Kid about. It. Man. This is the most infuriating part of the whole thing for every other candidate. That these are guys that have been in politics forever, and they go out there yeah, and like they keep stupid. going back to these debates. And Donald Trump's just going up there, going "fuck you guys." <laughs> He's insulting them. Right. It doesn't matter. No. And I've been watching this debate. These questions, Donald Trump has gotten more screen time yes. <laughs> but by a mile than anybody because not only is he getting more questions, but the questions that the other candidates get yeah. are about Donald Trump. <laughs> so, you know, so Rubio, uh, Donald Trump said, what do you think? <laughs> and he's like, well, I kind of wanted to talk about me, but I mean, okay, that's the question. It's like, yeah. we stop showing 24 up, 24 million mm. people watched the last. That's a Republican debate. Uh, yeah. Dude, that usually gets like, Forty thousand people. <laughs> yeah. like, like, no, no joke. Like, like exactly uh, maybe right. hundreds of thousands of people. Not even twenty four million. This is better than Knots Landing. It's incredible. <laughs> Star Trek. Knots Landing. This, this is crazy. Yeah. This is bigger than when Jr. got shot. Yeah, I was yeah. about to bring that up. Dallas. Yeah, I, this is Dallas. I this is the nigga. finale, but this is only the beginning. This is <laughs> fucking <Dallas>. crazy. <laughs> Look, like this has gotten to the point where I'm on the air for an hour and a half. 
It's only my third time, my third show in this time slot. Right. I'm on the air for an hour and a half. Thank you very much, Bob. Yeah. I'm on the air for an hour and a half. I'm playing audio from a debate. Mm -hmm. And instead of people calling up going, why the fuck would they give you three hours? This is a joke. You're not ready for this. Mm -hmm. People are calling up going, this is the best show I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> because, because that's how much Donald Trump has completely changed the landscape of everything. I just ran out uh, in front. You know who I ran into? Who? Anthony Cumia. Is he out there? Dressed like he's teaching a class at a community college. Yeah, he have patches on his elbows? He had a fucking, he had a fucking <laughs> sports coat with a backpack. Backpack. <laughs> I mean, granted, the backpack had fucking nine millimeters and dildos in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it was fucking crazy right up front. What's he doing? He had a big party right down the street of oh, Caroline's. Oh, that's right. Tonight was his Caroline's party. I, I thought oh. it was 9 to 12. I was going to head over after, but apparently I, it's not. Yeah, I would have gone if I didn't have a show. But, but um, You got the most important show because you know what? What? This is where the news is. You know mm -hmm. September 11th, you know who I was listening to? Who? Howard Stern. Right. The Republican debate? Right. You know who I'm listening to? What? SM. And, and What's I, your name? Uh, Roberts is Sorry, my last SR. name. Sorry, right. And it's just the... <laughs> Well, it's like, no, it's like a license plate version of Sam. You just take out the yeah, vowel. Sam! <laughs> yeah. No problem. It's, it's, and this is like 9-11, because we're witnessing the end of our country. Dude, I, everything, I, like, okay. like, this isn't buildings falling apart, but what we're watching is the structure of the political system that's been built, literally crumbling. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 what's robber and glow sticks to you? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. I mean, people say I'm yeah. great with comebacks. I mean, you said it yourself. Am I right? Am I right, everybody? Hey, I'll be trying. <laughs> I'll be Trump. You try to insult me. In okay. Your okay. You know, yeah. what people don't understand about Trump is yeah. that his attacks are sophomoric and have no place in American wow. politics. Won't you fall asleep with a pizza on your face? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you're ugly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, listen, listen to this is this is why this clip is so valuable. The clip that I played for you. Oh, I thought you were going to do another one. I had another. Job. OK, well, let me tell you something about Donald Trump. He's not. A, excuse me. My, excuse me. Well, let me. Uh, cut no, you let me. Let no, me. Fuck your mother. OK. What? Your mother's a wait, 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 wait. What? I'm just saying I fucked your mother. What? No, this isn't a joke. <laughs> I fucked her. And she's not that good, by the way. And she agrees with me. Damn she loves done. me. Damn done. As she was sucking my dick. She was saying, I agree with you. My son's a my son's a he she shouldn't go after. After uh, anything, he should just let you go. Your, your mother's a whore. And Jeb Bush, if you'd like to respond, I, uh, well, I, I think we should be talking about boots on the ground, not people's um, families. Excuse me, one second. I, I was, um, I was yes, asked to... One second. I fucked I, your father. What? Yeah, one time he needed extra money after what? the first war. And he, I said, you suck my dick, and I'll give you the money. What? Yes, that's what happened. That's I, your, father, your father blew me what? for $500 million. My I father, said, it's my birthday party, so I said, go ahead, blow me. My father was the president. President yeah. George H. W. Bush. Yeah, well, I, I've been blown by a president, which actually makes me I should be the president. That's the rule. Woo! Thank you very much. Thank you. Listen to the American public how they respond to Donald Trump's insult tactics. I'm going to play for you again mm. the yes. clip of him saying that Rand Paul is ugly, and I want you to listen to the way because you would think. If somebody's going so far out of the box to show up at a Republican debate right. and say that my opponent is not a good-looking man, you would think that the American public would reject this notion. This is not politics. This is cheap tactics. Listen to how the crowd responds. I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there that I can tell. <laughs> They're laughing. This is what, just, here's, Amazing. This is what that proves, Sam. Yeah. Funny's funny. That's it. That's it. If it's funny, I don't care if he just made uh, your mama joke. Right. If it's funny, people are going to laugh. And that's what happened. They instinctually went, oh, shit. <laughs> that's yeah. what that was. He if, fucked him up yeah. just there. If that was Obama, it would be like, oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, the crowd would have got up and went, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 all right, nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of steam quick. <laughs> then let's go to Billy in New York. If you want to call the show, Bobby Kelly is here. Yeah. DJ Hookit is here. Oh. It's Sam Roberts show every uh, night starting at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you've missed any of today's show so far, make sure you listen on demand. It'll be up by morning. Let's go to Billy in New York. What's up, Billy? Ah, uh, great show thus far. Thanks. Bobby's there. Bobby! <laughs> How you doing there? Okay, listen, Billy, I need you to get to your point, okay? <laughs> Why? So my, my point is, seriously, we talked about things like all night long, right? We debated. Yeah. Heard things. Yeah. Now, seriously. Right. Who do you really like? I'm going to say I like, like Trump. Trump. No, I, I'm, I'm a Trump fan. 
I'm, a, I'm, I'm, really, I'm, I'm, he's really a Trump fan. That's I am a huge. Saying. I'm going to vote for Trump. He's going. He's going to film everything. I'm voting for Trump too. You are. Yes, for sure. I here's the problem. Uh, the uh, Democrats have made me a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yes. I'm a registered Republican, too. I think it was because when I was in, my parents are liberal. Mm. And so when I went to college, uh, my rebellious stage was watching the O'Reilly Factor and registering Republican. Get the hell out and of getting here. A perm. And, and getting a perm. And getting a perm. <laughs> Which you still get on yeah. a regular basis. Well, yeah, I mean, this ain't natural. Yeah, you know, he's got straight hair like an Asian. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's Look right. This guy. Yeah. That's right. You should see my pubes. The proof <laughs> is in the pudding. <laughs> well, are they colored pudding? I, well, <laughs> once I'm done with it. <laughs> um... <laughs> But what I'm saying is... Yes, what are you saying? I'm a registered Republican. Yes. And I'm going to... I didn't even vote last election because I'm like, oh, between Obama and Romney, who gives a fuck is who I'm voting for. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I'm going to not only vote in the election and hope Trump wins, mm -hmm. I'm going to vote in the primaries. What? I'm really? Do, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're going wow. in, so. I'm going to vote in the primaries and make sure... Because, I mean, who else is going to win? Chris Christie? You are a non-violent, <laughs> non-dealing <laughs> drug user. That you don't go to jail for your first offense. You had a mandatory treatment. You see, as Jake, I'm pro life. And I think you need to be pro life for more than just the time in the womb. It gets a lot tougher when they get out of the womb. You're talking about crackhead? And when they're the 16 yeah, year old drug addict on the floor of the county lockup, that life is just as precious as the life in the womb. You know what Trump is thinking to himself right now as Chris Christie talks? Hey, He's thinking to himself, well, they're not going to play this on Morning Joe tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I got my sound bites in. You go, why is that guy's mouth always wet? Chris Christie? Yeah, his the, mouth the, is the always floods? too wet. Well, yeah, he dips down for a snack between questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that powdered donut was fucking delicious. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier, why he talks like that. Chris Christie, yeah, I mean, he's a loser. You know, he's not going to win. The, he's, he's got no chance. They're showing a split screen right now. Rand Paul and uh, Chris Christie. If there's ever two irrelevant people well, to show well, a split no, screen of in a Republican like, debate. I don't like that Rand Paul has Mrs. Furley's hair <laughs> from Three's Company. Holy shit, he does. He does. He got, a, he got a dyed the same color. It's the fucking worst. It's the worst. His orange you're perm. Not you're not a girl. fan? No, 1982 California <laughs> Santa Monica perm. <laughs> he's like he's, he's he looks like an old woman that's still flirting with the young guys. You know what I mean? Like he's still coming down and flirting with the young guys as if as if he's got a shot. Hell no. Uh, 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 this is awful. I mean, it's terrible. And here's the thing: is Trump was has been uh, grooming himself, yeah. to be a part. It, it, what is what is politics? See, it's, it's entertainment. No, you know what it is? What? It's the first reality show ever. <laughs> it is. And That's right. we just didn't know That's we crazy. were watching it. Yeah. It's the re it's a reality show. And Trump is like, my celebrity apprentice is an unbelievable success. Why not move on to the, uh, an even bigger reality show? I, I guarantee you, in yeah. his fucking brain, yeah. he went, this is just another reality show. <laughs> it's all... Uh, pro overproduced horse shit. Yeah. These guys are fucking phonies. <laughs> they're not in the woods hunting with their family, killing deers. Hmm. They're, they're, they got a fucking hotel down the street that they're, uh, you know, going to in between takes. Like all that Alaska shit and all the hmm. bullshit we see on TV. It's all garbage. This is the same shit. We'd like to apologize. Our reporter, Bob Kelly, has gone rogue. Oh, Our reporter has gone oh, rogue. Yes, I'm down here. <laughs> He's, the it's, things he says we're no longer responsible you know, for. It's, uh, you know, it's like Alaska down here, Sam. You faggots. You know? <laughs> let, me, uh, let me ask this person right here how they, uh, how they feel. Uh, hi, sir. How are you? He's a faggot. Why would you have uh, to interview I, I that person? Faggot, Robert, you know? Robert. Well, not we you, can't, man. We can't have him. No, we're going go to we'll go back to the live debate right, now. All right, Sam. I'll see you later. Okay, so bye. I'm going to I'll, I'll my, I need some coffee. This was not good. You faggots, you. <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> that I am the only person on this stage who can say this, but I know there are millions of Americans out there who will say the same thing. My husband Frank and I buried a child. To uh, no, Jesus oh, fucking God. Christ. They are fucking heartless. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You had Chris, Shameless. Here's what happened. Chris Christie over there a minute ago goes like, you know, me and my wife Jesus. were around. Chris Christie pulls a, for you. pulls a Steve Ranazizi and goes, my wife and I were around for 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and does this whole deal. And so Figueroa over here uh, is going, uh, okay, I got to pull out the big guns. Well, you thought 9-11 was sad. You should have <laughs> seen burying my child. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
I, I, Sympathy votes, I hope so, anyone? I hope somebody lost two children. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's not true. Chris Christie's I like, I ate my nephew. No, <laughs> I was, Trump is like, I had to kill my first child <laughs> because he did not look like me. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you this. I killed the first one, but have you seen the second one? I mean, if I wasn't her father, I'd be fucking her right now. Am I right? Am I right? Who's with me? Am I right? Am I right? I'm with you. I'm with hey, you. pizza face. Zit face. Look at me. Are you with me on this one? Hey, shit for brains down at the end. You know what I'm saying, right? Hey, hey gobble neck. Fatso from Jersey. You're hearing me, right? Hey, b hey, Mrs. Furley. Hey, hey, wig. Hey, nice hair, dick. <laughs> hey, wig. Not you. I didn't say that one. <laughs> Let's go to Matt in Washington. Oh, Matt, my God. Bobby Kelly and DJ Hookett are here on Sam Roberts' no show. No way. Guys, how are you? Good. Mm. Man, I've been a fan of all you guys for so long, and just to hear you say, yeah, I'm really going to vote for Trump. I promise you. Sam. Yeah? A smart man. There's 16 GOP nominees. Fuck them. They have no use. No, no, who has youth? I mean, who's running with youth? I mean, the, the only one that any, the, all the young people are like, oh, you should see what Bernie Sanders is doing. This mm -hmm. guy can't even fucking walk without a hunch in his back. He's so old. <laughs> There's no youth in any of them. Well, okay, so the guy's old and he's, he's a gimp, but Donald Trump is a fucking douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but dude, like, like, here's my thing. Like, my job is to come in here and host a radio show. Uh. I'm not going to be able to turn on the TV at night and put a Bernie Sanders speech on mm -hmm. and, like, create a, an hour or two of compelling content. If if Donald Trump is on because the TV, that's all it is, bro. You know that's all it is. And that's all it is. Can I tell you something, though, Matt? And this is going to this is gonna hurt. And this is going to hurt a lot of people who don't realize it. Mm -hmm. That's all it's ever been. All it's ever been is entertainment. Mm. That's it. You know? Uh, DJ, it, who could? You got to talk some sense into these polls. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. Who's the black community yeah. voting for? Wait, do black people like Trump? Mm, yeah. We, the, no. You do. Mm. Are you a robot? Are you a... Why are you ready to go... Mm, <laughs> cannot I'm process. I'm trying try, try to calculate the lie I'm about to say. <laughs> mm, we are... We... Mm, I don't like white chicks. Mm, what? what well, we, we, we obviously don't have a good black guy running this year, so... You don't like Ben Carson. No, he Because he's Republican. Yeah, Why? He's, Why don't you like Ben Carson? He sounds like a fool. I don't know. Why well, he's not he, Trump. Fucking Trump got me looking at them like... In a common sense way, like they all idiots, and I, I'm not. I don't care what they're talking about right now. I see. You can't prove shit at a debate. What do you get from a debate? But we can tell this that uh, he actually was the first person to uh, separate Siamese twins. Oh shit! So no that's one, something. No one. I mean, you may ha you may have buried a kid, right? What? But I saved two kids. Yeah. Get can I tell you something? Uh, I'd like to say this about my what? opponent who's running for office here. She buried a kid. I turned one into two. What? Okay, I doubled the kids. I took a uh, lifetime of uh, poundings <laughs> and being made fun of. Yeah, and I made it uh, only for one. You ever seen? You ever seen? A, one of them has still has to have a hump. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen American Horror Story Freak Show? <laughs> I saved him from a life of that. He was moving right to Florida in the circus. <laughs> well, let's hear what Ted Cruz has going on with his Obama life. Obama came after the race. He's talking to camera. I'm assuming these are closing statements. I was proud to lead the fight in the United States Senate to protect our right to keep and bear arms. And for that reason, you, I was honest. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So Bob, what, what, what do you think of voice, Bob? On this stage today, Thank you, I Senator. was right every day I'd like to, to turn defend to, the bill I'd like right. to turn to Dan Abash. You, uh, you have said it. once hey, or twice that you are hey. really rich. And you are by far the richest person on this stage. Uh, Chris Christie says billionaires like you and even people who make and earn far less should no longer get Social Security, or at least there should be limits based on, the, on their income. You think he's wrong? And if so, why? Speaking my, for myself. I'm okay with it. I think <laughs> I'm of course you're going to be okay. Can I tell you frankly, something? I'm so rich I could do without it, quite frankly. He's a billionaire. I would almost say leave it up to them. But I would be willing to check it off and say I will not get Social Security. What about I do the not country as a, as a policy. As a policy, I would almost leave it up to the people. Don't forget, they pay in and they pay in, and maybe they do well, and maybe some people want it. But the fact is that there are people that truly don't need it, and there are many people that do need it very, very badly. And I would be willing to write mine off 100 percent, Dana. So, is a voluntary program a yeah, way bitch. to get the Social Security system solvent again like that? No, it's not. But when Donald did it, it's a good start. That's really good. Um, <laughs> I, no, listen. <laughs> 
This is an issue that... Don't take pride in that. Oh, did that bother me just now? He goes, well, Donald did it. It's a good start. And everybody just chuckled. And stupid Chris Christie had this, like, little head nod. Where he's like, yeah, I got one, didn't I? I'm just... You know what I think it is? I'm just so interested in so many things. I'm interested in what he's going to say. Yeah. I'm interested in his hair. I'm interested in what his neck's going to do. Right. Because his neck... <laughs> his neck does weird shit when he talks. There's already a post that in seven seconds, Donald Trump uh, turned his face into every possible emotion. <laughs> <laughs> on the iPhone. <laughs> he really does, man. Yeah. He's been sitting there. I don't know how a man does it. For uh, something like three hours now, mm -hmm. he's just been sticking his chin out. Look at him. His chin is just pointing right out oh, for three hours. I, because so, he, they get, look, at the, that's fat guy stuff. You don't know about this. Tell me. Fat guy stuff. Because this is fat guy stuff. <laughs> Tell you have me. to stretch. Someone on the last debate, they watched it and went, ugh, look at your fucking oh, knee he's got, neck. He's got old man gobble neck. Oh, he's got old, he's got, looks like the back of an old lady's leg. <laughs> so they said, you stretch your goddamn head out. Yeah. You stretch that out. You, you got made, it, boss. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. And there's Rubio looking all young and Handsome and he is full of hope. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> it's not going to happen. No, nah, we can't. We can't have a young hot. They'll get killed. Yeah, they will. As an insurance policy, in case the scientists are right, the scientists were right. Reagan and his approach worked. Secretary Schultz asks, why not take out an insurance policy and approach climate change the Reagan way? Because we're not going to destroy our economy the way the left wing government to under that we are under now. Ah, 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 he's well, stuttering. He is. He, he just keeps stuttering. stuttering. He's yeah. a nervous guy. I give up with this dude. Yeah, look at this guy. This guy's nervous over here. That will make it harder to do business in America. That will make it harder to create jobs in America. Single parents are already struggling across this country to provide provide for their families. Maybe a billionaire here in California can can afford an increase in their utility rates, but a working family in Tampa, Florida, or anywhere across this country cannot afford it. Stop so trying. I, this is I. They try to get, like, passion in their voice because they figured out, okay, I'm on a rhythm now. I don't think I'm going to stutter again, so let me up the passion a little bit because he's confident in his speech now, but he's just going to stutter through it again. Because America is a lot of things. The greatest country in the world, absolutely. But America is not a planet. And we are, the, we are not even the largest carbon producer anymore. Oh, China somebody is. knows and geography. And drilling a hole and digging anywhere in the world that they can get By the way, my son died. <laughs> also, yeah. Also, I just got a text. My wife is dead. So uh, if you could vote for me. It's very, very sad. Ooh, he got a nice applause. Without getting into... The issue of China versus like the United States. Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. Well, I actually have an opinion on Donald Trump, if I could say this. Oh, oh my they just gosh. caught him sweating. They did? They just caught him sweating and wiping his sweaty brow. Uh, who? Which one? Ta uh, 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 Ted Cruz there? Yeah, Cruz. Oh, no, that's Rubio. Oh, that's Rubio. What yeah, difference Rubio. does it make at this point? It's just forgettable face number seven. <laughs> ah, <laughs> these poor guys. Oh, he's sweating. They, Look. they, they can't pull out. From like from embarrassment, they look should at, look at how fucking nervous he is, dude. He's sweating. You're and talking about his Rubio. Ru look at him. Watch. Oh, they took him off. You know it's bad when you're like debate. You're going one back and forth with the fattest guy on stage, and you're the one sweating. <laughs> Guess what? He's got your number, buddy. They got your number. Oh, like we said, this is. That was a that was a mean fat joke. I should stand by him. <laughs> but, but you know what? It was a good one. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Then you're the thin guy sweating. To the, either you're doing drugs or you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way, we got your number. Uh -huh. Nowhere <laughs> are you going to find coverage like this. This is it. It's the Republican debate special. Oh my lord! Here on Sam Roberts Show with Bob Kelly and DJ Who Kid. You want to mm. call up eight six six. 969-1969. That's 866-969-1969. We're also reading your tweets at SR Show SXM. That's at SR Show SXM. It is the never-ending debate, and I promise you. Never ending. I promise you. I'm here with you. Because there are people that have committed to this. And I promise you, we are staying on the air until this debate ends. <laughs> this debate will not outlast Sam Roberts' show. Bob Kelly is here sticking around. DJ Hookit is sticking around. And we're not going to break either. I mean, it's, we're staying on the air. It's a marathon show to go head to head with this debate. We'll give because I don't want I want the people who listen to Sam Roberts' show to know <laughs> that it's not just a matter you're going to get entertainment. You're going to wake up tomorrow morning and you're going to be informed. Mm -hmm. You're going to know what's going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what we offer here at Sam Roberts Show. So, we're not going to stop covering this Sam, debate. Sam, 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 I'm down oh, in the street, oh, oh, wait, Sam. Wait, wait, wait. Sam. It looks like we have our, uh, our reporter, 
live on the scene, Robert Kelly. Sam, how yeah. you doing, Sam? Yeah, it, it's getting, I mean, it's real bad down here now, it, it man. It is, it is. I mean, people are angry, <laughs> people are scared. Oh, yeah, um, nigga. Let, you see, they're yelling out the N-word. <laughs> what uh, that shit, nigga? Where yeah, are man. you, Robert? I'm, where, where, where are you reporting I'm from? I'm actually in, uh, I'm in Harlem for, oh, uh, for some yeah. reason. Why? There's no Republicans in Harlem. What up, nigga? Uh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't know that, Sam. I mean, it's literally, it's the most ethnic part of a state that is notoriously Democratic. I'm, I'm scared, Sam. Okay, Sam. Well, we, uh, Rob, well, we're going we're gonna to cut off your the, feed. He's taking my microphone, Okay, Sam. we're going to... Vote Trump, vote we're Trump, gonna, we, we Trump. Don't, we don't acknowledge that. <laughs> and we'll be back with... <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, y'all brought this up, man. Why? If you see Donald Trump is going to be there, why do you? Why? Why is he don't pull out? Just get out of to, the to, debate to, to avoid embarrassment. This is, a, I mean, it's supposed to be a serious situation here. Right? right? He's making it like a joke. I told who kid that's exactly what I would do if I was running for president. I would not show up to the debate. These guys have long if, careers in, in in politics, and then now and Donald this, Trump's making this, a joke. This is where they're at right yeah. now. This is the end game. They're in front of Donald they, Trump. They and have to be careful, man. If Donald Trump goes independent. <laughs> It's we have a Democrat in the office. That's right. If he goes, if he goes independent, if he at any moment he can go, go. F okay, you want me? Fuck you. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. And he goes independent, and it's done. They're not going to win. No. So, and then Trump won't win because he's like, well, if I'm not winning, neither are you. It's like when you're going to fuck that crazy drunk girl. It's like you can just pull out and not get laid, right? But you yeah. know, you know what? Fuck it. Let her throw cigarettes in people's hair, right? <laughs> Let's just go. I'm going to get ahead in a parking lot. I might get arrested. She's going to scratch my face. I'll have to explain that. But fuck it. Let's do it. Let's right. do it. Right. No, yeah. you're right. Can you get Bob to give us the future? Uh, of what? Trump. Clinton. Do you think it's going to be Trump and Clinton running? Do you think Trump's going to win? No, Clinton's not going to win. She's done. She's going to jail. So you think it'll be Trump and Bernie Sanders? Well, she's not going to go to jail, but she's going to be. She's going to. Uh, 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 she's going to maybe have to do email that. of her pussy. Do, <laughs> well, look. I mean, Bob, you're from. What? You're from. Dude, she was emailing fucking top secret documents in her fucking email. She did a lot of crazy shit. She, you're what? you're from Boston. I am from Boston. Did yes. Did you hear? Who, fucking cocksucker, did, dude. I'm not voting for Trump. He's a fucking retard. Oh, you're not. Well, listen to who is. Speaking of guys who like winning, yeah, you still have the Trump hat up there. He loves winning. Have you talked to him at all? And do you have any advice for his big debate tonight? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to it was a nice keepsake, so it could be a uh, yeah, nice piece of memorabilia he sent me. He's a guy who likes winning like you. You think uh, he's got what it takes? I hope so. That would be great. You know who that is, Bob? On the White House lawn, I'm sure that. <laughs> hey, check this out. I'm voting for Trump now. That is. That's it's, Tom Brady. I know who no, that, it is don't not. Don't you fucking dare tell me who that is. <laughs> what? I know who my baby girl is. You do. Get the and fuck And it's going here. down. If he's voting, I'm voting. Tom Brady just threw his support to Donald Trump today, this evening. Holy here's the, here's what really shit. fucking is weird about that yeah. interview. That cocksucking piece of shit guy <laughs> who had the I um I like you tone, like a little kid. Hey, hey, are you gonna? So are you gonna? I mean, you I mean, you have his hat. Maybe you might think of voting for him. It's that Ooh. same shit where like I don't want to be committal. I don't want to be committal about anything. That guy is a piece of shit. He was trying to get <laughs> yeah Tom. Tom Brady to say he was manipulating to say you're voting for Trump. So what do you what do you want that to happen, Tom? Hey, no, no. So Tom, that's great. I mean, you think Trump? I mean, you get the hat. The hat's cool. Hey, I love hats. Hey, wouldn't that be great? Or is that what you think? Yeah, don't you think? <laughs> wouldn't that, don't you think that'd be kind of? I mean, kind of cool. Like, and it's like, the Patriots. Come yeah, on. I mean, if you like, think that would be great, so what? Like, would you just vote for him because it would be great? Hey, Tom, you're a winner. I mean, that'd be great if he was a winner. You're both winners, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking asshole. Let's see what he's saying. Trump's talking. Oh, we missed a second something. opinion. <laughs> one of the greatest, this one of is the Rand greatest Paul now. discoveries of all time was, was this hair weave. <laughs> and if you want to read a story, it's called The Speckled Monster. It's an amazing yeah. story. The Speckled Monster. DJ Who Kid has that story, yeah. too. Don, <laughs> Donald Trump is going, uh, I have a similar story. It's called The Speckled Monster, and it takes place in my pants. That, that's yeah, that's that when you come right. on a stripper's back, and, <laughs> and there's a black light in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go to some calls. 866-969-1969. We're watching the debate. Monster. Let's go to Rob in Jersey. Oh, shit. You there, hey Rob? Guys, what's going on? How you doing, Rob? Let's, let's go. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, now, Bobby was talking about how Trump may run independent. Yeah. I actually heard that he had to sign an agreement that if he was going to run as a Republican, if he did not get the nomination, he cannot run as an independent. Yeah, but I don't think he signed it. Mm-hmm. 
And even if he did, all all the Republicans have to agree to sign that. Mm. uh, But I don't think Trump did. I think he might have actually. Uh, Did he sign it? I think he signed it. But even if he did, he's the one candidate that would go, you know, I decided to sign that at the time and I've decided it doesn't work for me anymore. So I will be running as an independent. Like, just (laughs) fuck, what are you going to sue me? Yeah. (laughs) Like, what are you going to do? Arrest me? We're going to sue me for a million. Here's three. (laughs) Yeah. Here's three million. Here's three million. I fucked your mother. Yeah, we even. (laughs) Yeah, tell your mother I said hi. Tell your mother I said hi. And here's a hundred thousand for her. You're my son. (laughs) Right, right. Yeah. Now, anyway, I'm running independent. (laughs) Oh, what's. uh, Huckabee. Ronald Reagan looming large over this debate. So, how Reagan esque exactly? What the are fuck? How long is this going? We'll find out next. What the? What do you mean we'll find out next? Twenty four million people watch this. It just it's it's all the programming. I don't remember it and being you know this what? long. It's going. It's happening on the West Coast. So they started it. It was eight p.m. Yeah. Eastern. How long is it for? Five p.m. on the West. So you know what that means? What? They could go all night if they want, because it's three hours earlier there. So it's right. not like so. Even if they go, they'll go until eleven o'clock over there, How does which that is work what again? two o'clock our time. Oh my god! So they could theoretically go from eight p.m. to two a.m. That's like time travel. I know. You should, did you learn that from that black dude that looks like Isaac from the <laughs> Love Boat? <laughs> I saw it on an episode of Sliders. <laughs> so oh come on! on. Yeah, yeah. Give so me that's, a break. That's really where I learned it. Are you watching Scorpion? I'm not. Uh, where'd you get the shirt? I love the shirt. Johnny Cupcakes. Are they, my, they sponsoring you? No. Why? Well, he sent me a ton of stuff. Dude, so. why the fuck don't I get it? Will you hook me up? You said you were going to hook me I'll up. I'll hook you up. I'll I want hook you up. It. I'll send him this clip. Send him this clip? It's my Come favorite on, shirt. Man. I yeah. told you about that shirt. You didn't, but no, okay. <laughs> buddy, buddy, for the radio. Come on. Listen. <laughs> Was I really Trump? No, on, I mean, man, you nobody could out. tell. Right, you know, you're right. Was I on the street? No, I was right here going, hey, you know, right. Sam? Yeah, I mean, did I throw a yes and at you just now? I didn't, and no, I should have. No, you threw a, a fucking, <laughs> fuck you, I'm going to keep yeah. the shirts it's to not myself. A, it's not a bus, it's a toaster. What were you saying? <laughs> it's like, when, I, when are we working it's with supposed to be a team player, Sam. You're right, you're right. What the fuck you doing right you're now? You're right, these exercises are team not Trump, my forte. Hey. <laughs> team Trump. Oh. The best show ever. This show? Yes. You think so? This fucking threesome right here is better than the three. Some DJ Who kid has in Dubai. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but yeah, yeah. me neither. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to get a call in, eight six six nine six nine one nine six nine is the phone number. Let's hit some of these. John in Massachusetts, you are on Sam Roberts show. What's going on, guys? How you doing, John? What's up, John. Very good. Uh, very good. Listening to you guys for a long time. Hey. Um, yeah, well, we've been on forever because this debate won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> not trying to stop. <laughs> Hey, uh, just a real, real quick on this. You guys are talking about if Donald Trump had signed a clause not to go against the Republican Party. Yeah. Yes. On the first debate, they asked the candidates who would not, uh, basically, if they were voted out, would they run against the Republican Party? Right. And he was the only one that rose his hand and said that he would run against it. He did. That was the first debate. That was what really set the precedent of, like, okay, he's fucking not a team player. Trump is here to command leadership over this thing. Like, is anybody go? Is it anybody? Not willing to admit that you won't run as an independent. Trump's like, I, I will won't. not. I will not run. I maybe. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. Yeah, I'll tell you this. I would like to be a Republican nominee, but I'd rather be president regardless. I actually, so. I actually like the Democrat logo better. So I might, I might uh, use. Yeah, I might go like Democrat. You know, better. right now I'm running as a Republican. Quite frankly, I'm a human being, not an elephant or a donkey. So who knows where I land? Who knows? You know. But I think it's great. I, I think love, it's great. I love the difference between our Trumps. Yeah, I know. Neither of them are very good at no, all. No, but I like it. I, I think together it would make a good Trump. I do, too. If we could combine the two audio tracks into one. Uh, let's go to Casey in New York. Casey, you're on Sam Roberts' show. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Love you. Love the show. Thanks, pal. What's going on? So uh, I wanted to know, you know, what's your reaction going to be when Trump asks you to be his running mate? I'll, t- I'll tell you this. If, if Trump asked me to be his running mate, I would spread my cheeks if that's what he asked. I'd do anything to just be in his company at this point. I think he's great. Are you really going to be his running mate? Well, I mean, people have been talking, and I've been very supportive of him on this show, and he really appreciates it. I mean, quite frankly, it's a great show. And, you know, I mean, Bob, you know what they've been saying about me on this show, right? No. They call me the ratings machine. They do. I mean, they call me the ratings machine. (laughs) Dude, you're the ratings machine? They call me the ratings machine. They do. Oh, my God, They do. 
They do. That's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, and you know, you know what it is. What is it? I've been. Uh, I'm a very well informed person, and people right. say, "Sam, how do you get as much knowledge as you do?" And you want to know what I tell them? No. <laughs> well, I watch the shows. I watch the shows. You know. <laughs> I mean, I watch the shows. That's the best fucking answer I've ever heard. <laughs> I watch the shows. This is the greatest thing ever. I remember they used to have a soundboard where you had buttons. Right. You actually have to point and click on a computer now. I do. I do. It's the future. You're using your iPhone to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just Who's got started that shit. I just Who's got a started that shit. I got Who's started that shit. Go, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> oh, I got Donald Trump talking. Go with Rosa Parks. I like that. Oh, Governor Bush. They asked him who would be the woman on the ten dollar bill, and I would. I was hoping he'd say like, "Well, I bet it'd be Megyn Kelly if she would stop all her bleeding." But I would he say said Rosa Ka Parks. Caitlyn Jenning, Jenner, because it, you know it's a man and a woman. You, <laughs> yeah. you, kind of, you split the difference. <laughs> we don't have to go right into women. We can still keep men and women, and then we'll ease into like Hillary Clinton or Rosa Parks. Yeah, because quite frankly, I mean, you know, uh, uh, Caitlyn Jenner, great woman, but a woman with testicles, and we all love that. Do we not? Do we not, people? Uh, I. I no. I actually love Wheaties. <laughs> <laughs> he just texted me. Adrian just texted me. Caitlin, they come up. You're the disgusting. Yeah. Who texted you that? Adrian. Why did he text you that? Because yeah. he farted. It was atrocious. Oh. Yes. Yes. Well, you pat that pass a little gas. Ha have you? That wasn't a little gas. Have you? It was, a lot? It, was a, it was an old man's fart. Have you ever uh. been co-hogging? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, when the tide goes out and you see little bubbles oh. coming up <laughs> in in the sand, uh, that's not good. When a when a, a nice seaweed farm came in the night before, <laughs> Woo was was Caitlin part of the uh, you know the the, the talking? Caitlin you know? Jennings in terms of the ten dollar bill. She's a Republican. Bill? She's a Republican. Not she? only is Caitlin Jenner a Republican, no, yeah. but she shows that. Wait till you hear this, who kid? You know how you were confused about Caitlyn Jenner? Mm -hmm. Not only is Caitlyn Jenner a Republican, but she went on Ellen's show, yes. and she said she's not ready for same sex marriage. Yeah. And this is what she said, who kid? The whole thing confuses her. Yeah. Of all the fucking nerve of every of anybody who's going to say same sex marriage confuses me, it's, it's Miss Triathlete in a dress. <laughs> yeah. Same sex marriage confuses her. It's crazy. It's like, what the fuck is your problem at this point? Like, really? Really? Like, I, how about this? Even if it does confuse you, keep your fucking mouth shut about really? it. The fact that they had to make a Vera Wang that big. Yeah, yeah really. You know how much fabric is on is in that dress? They it's, don't make a size 11 <laughs> fucking Jimmy Choo. Right, right. Is, is, there a is there a tranny box in the voting system? Uh, no, you wouldn't. It, it's it's Republican or Democrat. It's not based on sexuality. I thought those are tranny box. No, 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 no. no. There's no you made a tranny box like a post op like uh, uh, tranny like just a, a tranny box. Is that what that called? Like a purse box? <laughs> or is it other? It says black, white, tranny. Do they other? say? Um, I don't know. I, no, I don't think that the, you don't have to pick male or female or tranny. That's I don't that's think this one has a nigger no, box no, too. I don't. Well, that <laughs> I think is me. there. That oh, I think. See, yeah, actually, yeah. that actually, <laughs> that actually, music has comes out of it. In the late eighties. <laughs> right, right. Radio Raheem. Yeah, you put a tape in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Humble. <laughs> oh, he just said. They just asked Trump, "What would you want your Secret Service code Dr. name Carson. to be?" And he said, "Humble." One nation. Oh, you Senator fucking Clinton. loser. You know, as a Cuban, I might go with Cohiba. And, and I'll tell what? you, I'd go with, for Heidi, Sabrina Angel, cigar. because she is my angel. No. Oh, well, you there's some people Jesus, that's what it's all about. The joke I made about Florida State, but what the heck, I want my code name to be Gator. More like Gaydar. I'd go with Nut ass. Hunter. What? Nut, nut Hunter? Simple. Did he just say Nut Hugger? Yeah. Justice never sleeps. <laughs> that's too wordy. That's a mouthful, but okay. <laughs> Even the host said your name okay, sucks. Here's a more serious question. Ronald Reagan. You know what's interesting is that uh, this guy, Ram Paul, he gives his code name, and even the host thinks he's a loser. Am I right? <laughs> this is like being at the comedy cellar table. <laughs> Too wordy, fuckface. To tear down hey. the wall. And then ultimately, to make peace with the USSR. How will the world look different once your Air Force One is parked in the hangar of your presidential library? Speaking Senator of wordy. I mean, I met Ronald Reagan as a teenager. Oh, shut up. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't make you a better person. <laughs> he ran against Gerald Ford. Oh, I'm going to vote for this Rand Paul. He knew Ronald Reagan. You know, he met him as a teenager. Yeah, he knew that, nigga. I'll never forget that. And how we stood up and said, you know what? This is something new that our, that our country needs and that our party needs. If this I is far from a party. Would, uh, try to be one the party ended an hour ago. This is the longest television show that's ever been on the air. And I would try to lead the country in that way. <laughs> Knowing that our goal was peace, 
and that war is the last resort, not the first resort. My ass. You do. No. It's, it, this is what him talking makes you want to do. He's talking about Ronald Reagan. More interesting. The question is, if you're elected president, how would the world look different after you leave office? Mm -hmm. That we go to war reluctantly. But then when we go to war, we don't fight. When is he going to explain it? Our back. Yeah. We fight all See, folks, I told you he was ugly. <laughs> okay. Everybody's like, yeah. This is supposed to be a speed rap, buddy. <laughs> At the end of my presidency, I would like to believe... Mike Huckabee's like, well, you know, the difference between me and the president we have now is if I was president, there'd be no gays. <laughs> All the homos would be wiped out if I was president. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'll tell you this, they certainly wouldn't be marrying and reproducing. Yeah. Mike, that's, it, it's not how it works. It's to the same end. Was he, was he, well, was still, Gitler. Gitler. Yeah. <laughs> but if, you, if you come in a vagina, you're keeping it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, those are my rules. <laughs> <laughs> no abortions and no gays. I'm hey, pro-life, you see. Jizz are people, too. <laughs> yeah. I believe uh, inception, uh, 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 inception starts in the tissue, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Con conception. Inception. Inception is a movie. Inception started in my dreams. Leo visited me. Conception starts in the tissue. People respected each other. People respected law enforcement. And we would focus on cures. And we would make this country not only safe... Nobody wants it, Mike. Nobody wants it. You know who I would make my vice president? Shit. Kim Davis's husband, or whatever her name is, with the overalls, who walked into court with a fucking baseball tee on like he's seven. <laughs> One of the things that made Ronald Reagan a great who is president... Who's this? This is, is that uh, Rubio. That America was Stutter man. The, yeah. Like any other that it existed. If I was president, we'd never have a president that could get through a sentence without stuttering. <laughs> Let me go to, while, uh, while we're dealing with some of the who cares uh, gentlemen on the scene... Let's go to, if I can find my mouse, Tony in Ohio. What's up, Tony? Same at Brian Muffin. What's up, pal? Hey, I haven't heard, I haven't seen anything last this long that didn't involve a hobbit and some dwarves walking from left to right. This is crazy. At some point, they're going to put out an extended DVD version of this debate with all the extra features, and it's going to be nine hours long. Oh, it's, it's going to be fantastic. You're going to get to see all the awesome drinking of water Espe and the weird checks of hair and eyes in the mirrors in front of the <laughs> That's right. That's right. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? The candidates are practicing. Trump, their speech. You have to listen to Donald Trump fart the national anthem, which is really why everybody's there. Yeah, that's exactly right. But you know what? Long as it may be, we're here until the end, ladies and gentlemen. We are here until the end, and I believe we've uh, remade contact with our reporter on the street. Uh, yeah. Robert Kelly is downstairs as uh, we're trying to figure out if there's an end in sight for this vote, Republican vote, debate. Vote, vote. Uh, uh, Sam, hang on one second. Yeah, give me two falafels. Okay, Robert, uh, we're live. I, I want the shawarma. I don't want the, the, that shawarma. Vote, vote, vote. Robert, I understand it's been a long vote. assignment, but you shouldn't be ordering food. Uh, hang on one second. I'm not ordering food for me, Sam. It's for this homeless guy. Vote, vote, vote. Uh, uh, okay. Robert, yes. you, you were there to report on what the people are yeah, saying. Yeah, it's crazy down here, Sam. I was, talking, crack at. I was talking to this Arab guy <laughs> okay. who owns this falafel stand. Robert, it sounds like all the people have gone to bed because this debate has been so long. Crack! <laughs> 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 sir, what do you think about the uh, Donald Trump being president, sir? I like crack. Okay, all right. Robert, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> and uh, well, th thank you for the report. Thank right, you for the Sam, report. Okay, Sam. Okay, all Can right. I get you something? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll eat up here. Thank you very crack much. crackhead out there. That's crazy. Oh, Ted Cruz just won't <laughs> shut up on this. Listen to Obamacare. <laughs> You want to know DJ. what I'll do as president? It's real simple. No! We don't want to know. There shouldn't be that many people on stage. It's way too much. Man, it's just too long. His voice is just too annoying. Who kid? Who gets fucking? Who gets fucking into a dog? This look at the, it made no sense. He's going rough, rough. Vote, 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 vote. I don't understand. Vote, vote, I'll screw your vote. I'll screw your vote. That's but it. why? I was an Arab guy. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Why is that? What is a dog an Arab guy? What does that have to do with anything? That's not Talk. Uh, there's your boy Ben Carson, who kid. Logical also. Oh, I love Ben God. because when I look at what's going on with this, the has to be the last America, question. I see a lot of things that I got to go to break. God damn I see us too. allowing people. This to is ridiculous. It's been over two hours. It's our good. strength. You like it? Is in our unity. Uh, okay. I see people exercising the most uh, irresponsible fiscal habits that anyone could possibly do. And is he tired? Oh. Is he tired? The yeah, yeah. And it so sounds it, like he loses his breath at the end yeah, of every yeah. sentence yeah. that every person w would do. <laughs> He's like, the oh, fiscal shit. responsibilities that, that the other, all these people have, you know, they're not, uh, they're not, they're not right with, Man. 
with what they're doing, I forgot my inhaler. I, this is over. Understanding that a pinnacle nation has to be a nation that leads. If we learn to lead in the Middle East right now, a coalition will form behind us, but they will never do it if we just sit there oh, and talk man. about it. Real leadership is what Look, I Ben, hope it's a nighttime show. Friends. Okay, you're putting oh, people man. to sleep. We need to keep the energy up here, buddy. Yo, Bob, yo, Bob. It's Yo, after 11 o'clock at night on the East Coast. We need to keep people. Oh, here he goes. We will do something real Wake special. Wake up, Bob. We will make <laughs> this country greater than ever before. We'll have more jobs. We'll have more of everything. We were discussing disease. We were discussing all sorts of things tonight. More disease? Many of which will just be words. It'll just pass on. I don't want to say politicians. All talk, no action. See, that's but real talk. It just implied that there would be no disease if you were quickly. president. <laughs> if I'm president, many of the things that we discussed tonight will not be forgotten. We'll find solutions. And the world will respect us. They will respect Ooh, us like never to, before, yeah. and it'll be actually a friendlier world. And I have to say, it's a great honor to be here tonight. Woo! This is why he's so Woo! fucking smart. Let me tell you something about Donald Trump and the intelligence that he has. Number one, he just implied, he absolutely just implied, I was listening, yeah. that if he's president, yeah. there will be no more disease. We won't have colds. He said yeah. that. No more flu. Can I tell you something? I've never had the flu, and I can pass that on to the American people. But have you had whooping cough? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. How about chlamydia? Yeah, let me tell you something. Chlamydia will be just a word. Just VD, a word. Gone. But <laughs> oh, I'm fucking the night. I've in my basement. I've created a vaccine for crabs. Me, there's no more crabs. Let me tell you something, folks. Trojan's gonna hate me because it's not gonna be necessary anymore. No, VD is gonna be finished. It's gonna be finished, and when you you won't have to wear condoms anymore. And have and can I tell you something? Have we had sex with condoms on? It's not great. It's not great. It's not great. Now you'll be able to come in a vagina, and there's a button on the side of your balls. Want kid or don't want kid. <laughs> I could understand if you don't want kids, <laughs> uh -huh. but let me say, I mean, before you decide you don't want kids, look at my daughter. I mean, if I wasn't her father, I'd be fucking her tonight. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Sam. Who's with me? Who's with me? I'm with you, kid. <laughs> Who's with me? With that you. was Sam Roberts' Trump, not Bob Kelly's. Because Bob Kelly's on an FX show, and he wants to remain on it. I'm like... <laughs> Uh, Rizizi kid. <laughs> let me, let me tell you. Yeah, exactly. I hope there's an opening at the league. Don't worry. I'm like, I'm just, I'm like Rizzi. Just, in case, just in case sex and drugs and rock and roll doesn't get picked up, which it should, because it's Whoa. a great show. I watch oh. it. There's an opening on the league, is what I'm saying. Uh, no. There's an opening on the league. You'll be able no, to jump right it's in. It's last season. But here's the deal. Mm. I want to say this. I was... At Pearl Harbor, you now, were. Listen, that I right? was. Now I, I swear to God. Now you know that ship that's it sank and it has the memorial over it. I, I was there. That's incredible. Mm. This is news coming straight from Bob Kelly. I was, I was on, I was on a mountaintop picking blueberries. <laughs> you saw, wow! You, you yeah. saw everything. And all of a sudden, I saw the first plane came in and what? the tail hit me in the shoulder. It did. Yeah, it grazed right. you. That's why people make fun of me because I'm overweight. But actually, oh. I have a shoulder problem, which uh, gives me anxiety. Wow! I ran down that hill. And I, I warned uh, the United States. Wow. Incredible. So that's why. The hero. Incredible Robert Kelly. And but then I flew a plane. This is why. <laughs> this, a fucking hero. This is Brian Williams. It's everybody. This is why Donald Trump is so smart. Because all these guys, everybody who's not Donald Trump that's on that stage, they're so hungry for mic time. Are they reenacting the NWA movie over? <laughs> What's happening? Well, Shade 45 is the only other channel that does live shows at this Who hour. you? Um, I think we have who, who getting here. Yeah. Who you? Yeah, that's that's I keep them around to make sure everybody knows. We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> Who you? Yeah. We're I cool. Afro too. <laughs> Who you? Yeah. It's all good. Every person that's on the debate stage right now in this uh, GOP's nuts debate. Uh, GOP's nuts. Who's that girl right there? They're all. That's Car sex. Carla Figarino. Oh, those are Sex in the City, bitch. No, 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 no. That's not Sarah Jessica Parker. Fuck me. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> that's definitely not her. Are you, I thought you switched channels. And you could, uh, <laughs> you could hashtag GOP's nuts at SR Show SXM. Yeah, but channels. <laughs> here's why Donald Trump is a genius. We just heard mm -hmm. him answering this question: If you're elected president, how would you make the country, the world, look different after you? left or whatever. Donald's answer was as short as can be. Every other person that's on that stage yeah. is so hungry yep. for mic time yep. because they've been skipped over, they've been skipped over, and they're trying to do it at the end. Everybody knows by the end of this 19-hour debate, all anybody I, wants to do is go home. I'm going to tell you something. This is what happens, and it happens with comedians, too. Right. They are so have their shit written and prepared, they cannot stop mid-sentence. They have to finish their little speech. 
Donald Trump is winging this shit. He is. He's, he didn't write a thing. He's fucking winging it. These guys, when you're asked this, when you're asked that, and they have to finish it. How can you cut it off? I don't know where. I know it ends here. Right. I don't. I can't end it there. There's right. no fucking. There's no comma. There's no period. There's nothing. Mm-hmm. Donald Trump's going. Uh, listen, I will end disease uh, in my lifetime as president, and everybody gets a plane. And how ugly is Rand Paul? Am I right? Anyway, move on. Any, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> it looks like seriously, honest to God, folks. <laughs> yeah, he should have proactive. I mean, I'm going to give him proactive. I'm going to pay for his. Proactive. I mean, seriously though, it's not an attack; it's facts. No, and listen, if the guy from that band uh, who's who's on uh, the the Voice used proactive. You should use proactive. Yeah, too. yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. Adam Levine. He's a great looking guy. He's yes. in room five. He's a big star. The ladies, they love him. I mean, they love him. Am I right, ladies? Do we love him? We love him. So if he could yeah. use proactive, I'm not saying it wouldn't be a bad idea for Rand Paul. I'm so Bieber. Well. Bieber. I am going to give everybody right. on this panel a makeover. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe you I could start with as that good skinny as bitch <laughs> who has shallow eyeballs. I mean, you think she could be president? Look at those things. They're sunk halfway into her skull. Am I right? Am I right? I don't have no pimples either. That yeah. shit. That shit do work. That's uh, proactive. You use proactive? Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that skin. Everybody's what? actions make a huge difference. In Everybody's taking so long to answer this question because you're. Right, Bob. They've got it all written out. Yes. And they can't a- read the crowd. Like, Trump is reading the crowd. He's like, my knees are getting tired. I've been standing so long. Yeah. I can only imagine how badly people want to go home. Yeah. I'm going to make it short and sweet. And the other thing he did, which was smart, he made his impact at the beginning of the debate. Yes. Because that's where people are drawing. People, this debate's been going on so long. We're looking at the other news channels at the same time. Right. And the other news channels are already playing their highlights. Well, already playing their Chris, highlights. Is these, the top of his head isn't doesn't match the size of the bottom of his head. No, for some reason the fat that uh-huh. he builds up from eating so much yeah, it's, only it, it's from his nose down. <laughs> <laughs> it's it goes no. He's got a very very skinny uh, uh, nose up. Advantage of that your system is being gamed, and that you're turning out to fall further and further behind. Our presidency, our presidency. Ooh. will be about ending that, about enforcing the law, level the play field for everybody, and once again reward those folks who play by the rules and think that justice means more than just a word, but it means a way of life. AJ, nothing but a number. This around the world. He did, he did I will not weight. shake hands with. I mean, some, but not yeah. enough. Meet with. What? He's still very, very heavy. (laughs) I mean, am I right, folks? Look at this guy. He's about as fat as you can get. Am I right? (laughs) I think he's he's going back to his fourth fat. You think so? (laughs) I mean, you're the expert here. You know what it's like to fluctuate. As the, uh, how you doing, Sam? As the fat guy expert. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We need to, as we're looking at this debate, Chris Christie giving us his final statements. And we go to our uh, fat expert on the street, uh, Robert Kelly. Uh, 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 Yeah, Sam. uh, (laughs) Listen, I uh, I'm full. Uh, I, I just want to say uh, I think Chris Christie is gaining weight. They're going to have to redo all the furniture in the White House, which is going to cost millions of dollars. And never mind, uh, uh, they're going to have to redesign Air Force One. And uh, that's that's just the money. I'm not willing to pay in taxes. Well, there you have it, our fat man on the street, Bob Kelly. Okay, what's going on here? They better not be going to break. They better be ending this thing. Will be moderated by my colleague. Anderson Cooper. Damn. What is this? Cool part two? Anderson picks up our coverage of tonight's debate right now. Before I throw it to Anderson, let's wait, have wait, wait, a wait, final wait. round of applause for the candidates. Okay. This has to be it. Anderson. Jake, thanks very much. What an evening. Good evening. Oh, Good evening. thank God. It's mercifully over, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. Greeting their families who wow. have it is mercifully wow. over. Damn. And all the, the other candidates now have to act like they are don't hate Trump with the passion of a thousand fiery suns. I guarantee they don't. I guarantee if you're smart, you know what you're going to do? What? You're going to fucking cozy up to him. Be in He's going to need a VP. Man. You be as cozy, and you know how much, you know what cool shit you're gonna get if a billionaire's president? Yeah. What? You know how much cool shit? Yeah. I bought you a Lamborghini for backing me and being oh, so nice yeah. to me. Good news, it says Trump on the side. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's gold. It's beautiful. It's gold, and it's paisley let's, inside. Let's uh, <laughs> run through these calls real quick before we move on from this topic finally. Uh, James in Oregon. Hey, Sammy, how's it going, man? Good. Hey, should it be the rump race? And, uh, should. Uh, Trump be calling her Carla No Figurine. Listen, I love you. I love to play on words. Uh, you're you're talking to a guy who named the debate GOP's nuts. So, <laughs> you know, that's what we're working with here. David in Alabama. <laughs> hey, guys. I just wanted to ask you guys a question. 
in the age of cyber attacks, uh, digital warfare becoming more and more prominent, as somebody who works in the tech field, it is easy to see how vulnerable we are on that front. Mm -hmm. I'm curious why you guys think that nobody asks these questions. Nobody cares if the leader is tech savvy or not. Mm. Nobody cares Dude, that Donald though, Trump can't even answer the, the most basic foreign policy question. Ask me a question. About being tech savvy? Any, okay. Well, you, uh, well, Mr. Trump, uh, if you are president of the United States, yes. what do you when? think? When, Sam? I'm sorry. When? Uh, Mr. Trump, what yes. will you do as far as uh, uh, dealing with technology and technical warfare? I will make, uh, I will bring you up from 14K modems to 24 Ks. And there it is, Donald. Wait, he's on right now. Uh, I had an amazing time. Three hours is probably a record-setting long debate. But I guess you're selling a lot of commercials during that because they increased it. I guess it was supposed to be too. But uh, they, they were very professional the way they handled it. CNN did a very good job. Oh, well, he's we taking shots. About that, it seemed like it was well run. There was a lot to talk about. Who do you think came out on top with the best ideas for the American people? Well, I think everybody really did well. There was nobody that did poorly. And I would think really everybody did very well. I was very impressed. Anybody more than anybody else? Well, I don't want to say that. I think certain people did really well. I would never say that, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he wants to so bad. Coming out of the debate, really that she well, stepped I, up I thought. I think she's a very nice person. I think. That, <laughs> I think everybody did very well. I, I would fuck her. Do you feel that you did something differently tonight uh, than you did in the first debate? I stretched my neck. No, more. I think probably uh, the first debate went very well for me. Also, they both went very well. They're saying very nice things. I mean, I just heard a couple of people come over and say, "Wow, that was great." So uh, I think uh, you know I'm very happy with both performances actually. Yeah. That's what it is for Trump. It's a performance. It's a complete if, performance. If, here's the thing: if he becomes president and they have to make a statue, you know how hard it is going to fix his, make his hair in the statue. Tough, <laughs> and sometimes a little bit nasty. We're getting to know each other, and you know you develop relationships. I have a lot of respect for a lot of people on All the stage. Right. There's what Trump. What does he like the word nice so much? Nice yeah. things. Because it doesn't actually mean anything. It's completely <laughs> non-committal. Dice in New York. Oh my God. You know how I'd leave this country if I was president? What? Covered in my goose. Okay, thank you. He waited like an hour. He waited an hour for it. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. All right, look. we got to take... We've been on the air for uh, two hours and 17 minutes. Uh, we should probably take our first break of the night. Yes. Yes. Uh, Bob, you're sticking around, of course. I'm sticking around. Tomorrow night is the last episode of my show on FX. That's tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow night, last episode. I have to tell you, I called Bob over the weekend. I talked to him on the phone, and I told you, without with provocation, you didn't bring up your show at all. Right. I've been watching it all season, Sex mm. and Drugs and Rock and Roll. It's a great show. If I didn't like it, yeah. I would have promoted the premiere, and I would not pretend to keep liking it. Right. Oh, so wow. I, I mean, I've watched, I've watched the whole season. It's really good. You it's mean a, like Opie? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> yeah, he, he hasn't seen it. I haven't been on once. No. <laughs> No. Well, no, no one's tweeted anything. It, it, the only one, Travis, his wife, and you. Yeah, it's a good show, and <laughs> I will you, tweet buddy. out uh, tweet out for the finale tomorrow because <laughs> uh, I would recommend everybody watch it and watch it on demand. Catch up tonight if you haven't seen it. Uh, we're gonna they, take a break. They call it binge watching. Binge watching. Just binge it. Bobby's sticking around. Who kid's sticking around? And Matt Eisman is stopping by right after this here on Sam Roberts Show. Sam Roberts Show. Uh, boom. We're trying to figure out all the mics here. We got a lot of people in here. What kind of music is this? It's the new Macklemore song. It sucks. He does. <laughs> Mac Macklemore's a he, he, he just talk about losers. Jesus. Macklemore's a loser, is he not? McFinger in my ass. It is, isn't it? That's that's actually kind of fun though. <laughs> well, I, figured, I figured who gets ash at it. It was really nice. <laughs> well, of course, that voice can only mean one thing: yeah, NBC yeah. superstar. <laughs> oh, God, don't listen to that. <laughs> Matt Eisman is here. Yeah. Matt Eisman, I, I you know him as the host from uh, American Ninja Warrior, of course, on NBC. Right. I mean, I don't know, you know, if you're here to, I can hear you chewing your fucking trail mix over there, who can? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if, uh... Man's gotta eat, man. I understand. Why don't you just say that that's, that's who kid getting moisture right now? He's yeah, getting, some trying, man, He's getting his <laughs> moisture. moisture with peanuts hey, and raisins. I follow him on Twitter. I know what the terminology is. <laughs> yeah, Bob Kelly. Yeah, moisture. Yeah, he's like a real guy. He knows me, yeah. And Bob Kelly is, of course, here as well. That's goddamn right. Tattoo. 
tattoos on the pits. That That's right. Gangster. That's where men get tattoos. Yeah, ninja tattoos. That looks painful. Yeah. That's the worst thing I've ever been through. Why would you do that, Bobby? I'm a fucking lonely <laughs> Bobby. I'm a lonely asshole on the road. This is why I where got did the, you get that done? This is what I did. I got it in San Antonio. Oh, no, San, where, where the fuck was it? San Francisco somewhere. I actually was just so lonely on the road, I drew a dragon. And I was like, I'm going to go. No. I swear to God. I'm going to go get this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. When Here's, was this? Was this, this, was, this, that was four years ago. So oh, four Bob years ago. Kelly has a, a giant, and actually, you can put the camera down let's for a see, second and see take a photo though. of it for Twitter. Mm -hmm. And we'll post a oh, photo if you haven't seen it. Japanese characters? Here, oh, no, here, it says added. Here's what well, I hang on. What do you notice about the actual lettering in this? <laughs> well, it looks no, look Chinese, at, but I see what it says. Yeah, it, it says, do you want me to reveal what it says? A dick. Addict. Oh, I thought it said a dick. A dick. I want you to look. I want you to see a side. Mm -hmm. okay. These letters. Re look at these letters. What is weird about these letters? What's well, they off? look Japanese. They, they look like jalapeno yeah, peppers. More like Polynesian Chinese food letters. Well, it looks <laughs> like you wrote, keep kicking them in the dick. <laughs> it looks like you em emulated well, uh, DeRosa's tattoo. When I was skinnier, it actually read better. But listen. <laughs> this is addict. Look, 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 look at the letters. What What is different about one letter? Uh, well, I know what's different. What? So they're all capital, except for oh, some the reason I. the I oh, has right. a dot over it. It's Be lowercase. Because when you put, when you put it like that, the uh, the uh, uh, the capital uh, H, I mean the capital I, uh -huh. looked like an H. So it looked like it said it's, it's it reads addict, but it re used to read ad hut. <laughs> <laughs> With that, so I well, right, it's like addition of, uh, of job of the hut. Oh, that's yeah. great! <laughs> it's calling Bobby Fat is so, what it was but, calling. But so he's got this, and you can see the picture on at SR Show SXM on Twitter. It's covering the whole. I didn't release that photo, by the way. D well, it's up. Well, my lawyer's going to call you. The internet is forever. Uh, it's it's uh, covering the whole backside of mm. his uh, left arm. Formidable arm. Yeah, it's a big arm. That was spontaneous. <laughs> that was spontaneous. You're telling me, Bob? Uh, uh, spontaneous. But, but here's, wait, I don't see the dragon though. I didn't see the dragon. Where's there's the dragon? There's a dragon oh, okay. surrounding it. Oh, you drew that? No, I, no, I drew a oh. shitty. I thought you said you drew a dragon. I, I drew like, a That's dragon. Art. If I showed you the dragon, I drew it. <laughs> I, I would love to shit on that tattoo. That's actually a really nice tattoo. It's it's a nice tattoo. But here's the thing. I went in and I was like, let me get this, and he. He didn't tell me how painful it was on the inside of your armpit. <laughs> oh, it's one wilding. of those things. And then two fucking Hells Angels guys came in with like <laughs> tattoos on their face. Yeah. They're sitting there waiting. And I, I, I'm, let me and tell you like, something. <laughs> I've, I've, I, my asshole was so sweaty hot. It was. Because I kept, I, all my pain came out through my asshole. I kept going, <laughs> <laughs> like that. For four hours, they, wow! They sat there because there's no way I was gonna go. Ow! Your mouth, your mouth looked like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, my fucking stepdad? <laughs> it was but I mean, the but worst. it's it's crazy to get a tattoo that big and just have it spot like you no thought into it, well, especially no, when I it's like it. I know I understand, but like the whole thing is about. Uh, the fact that you're an addict, but it, it's also celebrating sobriety, I think. Yeah. First of all, which that's I, not a sober decision to just mine, go and just think yeah. of something and go and do at it. At least mine point, is so. original. Mm. As opposed to what? As opposed to somebody's name. Let me tell you something. <laughs> at least mine. First of all, it's Shut not original. Man. I've never seen you, Jack White. There's Jack White and there's Rob Zombie. And by the way, it's not original <laughs> for recovering. Have you been doing curls, by the way? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for noticing. No, he's talking about your hair. Oh. <laughs> it's not that's a, what I thought, too. It's not an original thing <laughs> for for somebody who's recovering to get a tattoo symbolizing their addiction. First That's not original. First of all, it's not. First of all, it's been done by every addict but, ever. But not with a dragon. Sober. Not with you've a dragon. Been, and you've a been dragon. sober for like fourteen years. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. So yeah. you've been sober. That was the twenty five year anniversary. And by the way, you know where I've seen that dragon before yes. on the wall of every tattoo parlor I've ever been on. <laughs> First of all, I love Chinese food and I love being sober. <laughs> 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 Shit. Do you all, show that the Chinese? Restaurants? Hey, discount. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Yeah. I stenciled it from your menu. Dude, you have somebody's fucking signature. But it's an experience. Like they signed it. Do you know who does that? Who? Twelve year old girls. That's they're, who does that. Let me ask you something. I don't yes. know what tattoo parlor you're going to where they're tattooing twelve year old girls. It's actually called that's Twelve Year Old Girls in Jersey. That's <laughs> repulsive. Oh, yeah. You got a twelve year old girl arm. Shit. Buddy, I've, been, <laughs> I've been doing curls too, kid. Okay, I've been doing curls. You, you really do. Whatever, man. I, I have high tendon strength. I love Jack White. I okay. fucking love Jack White. Not like I do. I, 
absolutely. <laughs> Not like I do. Um, listen, let me I see your arm. I love him so much. <laughs> yeah, that I wouldn't fucking ask him to do that. Can I tell you something? Because you're, he you didn't can, ask. He just got the signature, right? And he, then he tattooed it. That is. You didn't tell Jack like this is going to be permanent. Well, see, I've always. First of all, I asked him. I, know, good point, sir. Right? I asked you him, betrayed Jack White's confidence. Good point, he sir. He thought he was signing a titty or a little girl's arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a woman. <laughs> oh, it must be a girl. I thought. Um, yeah, sure, I didn't. Sure, sure, little kid. He smiled brightly. Yes, of course he did. When I asked him to sign my arm. Because he was helping a sick Wait, kid. Do we, do we know that Jack White actually signed this? <laughs> yes, as a matter of I fact, mean, there was a photo know? on RollingStone.com, okay. and it said it was in the Sirius XM lobby, and it mm -hmm. says, Jack White signs the arm of a fan. <laughs> That really let me know where I stood in the world of radio. <laughs> was Make-A-Wish make involved? I think so. What? But, yes. I never thought, when I got my arm signed... That you would be doing 9 to 12s? I, <laughs> oh. You mean oh, I never thought I would be so successful? Heart. You are fucking successful. Thank you, Bob. This show is going to take over. The Bob and Sam something. show. What time... <laughs> Bob and Sam show, you're absolutely what right. What time tomorrow is the great sex and drugs and rock and roll on? That is on 10 o'clock FX. Well, it sounds to me like the nighttime... <laughs> is the right time for entertainment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's when all the great shows are on. Because those are the... I, I, and, and quite frankly, as far as my entertainment goes... Here we go. People ask me all the time. Here we go. They go, Sam, how do you keep yourself so entertaining? You want know to tell them, Matt? Yeah. How? Well, I watch the shows. I watch the shows. <laughs> you know? What can I tell you? I watch the shows. Trump. So, I always assume... Someone's getting merch. I, <laughs> I watch the shows. Look, you know, as far... <laughs> I always assume. Slobo! <laughs> what the fuck would you have another man sign your arm and then get it... You're going to have you know a what? child one day and he's going to... me the ratings machine. Because I'm the ratings machine. No, because... I, I, can wait, I, let I, me get back to the original point. Kid? Can I be your kid? Not yet. I want to be your kid. Give oh, me a, okay, I'll good. let you be my kid in the moment, though. I have a Bobby, great... Let's not live out your sexual fetishes here. <laughs> <laughs> he just spat it out. Oh, spit tank. <laughs> I have great memory retention, not to worry. Yeah, so, he just spat it out. You they guys, call you the elephant. You guys said... <laughs> you guys said, you know, did he know I was getting it permanently tattooed on him? People have asked me that, but I always assumed that when you ask a man, yeah. if, as, a, as a grown man that I am, right. mm -hmm. if for me to... Well, yeah. For me to ask another man to mm -hmm. tattoo my arm, right. I assumed... That he would assume that that would obviously be something I'd be tattooing on. What would the purpose be for me to just do it and then walk home and take a shower and it's gone? Mm. The shits and giggles. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's just, a, I don't do shits and giggles. I ran out of paper. <laughs> I would think it was a dare. I would I think it was the a album dare. On I me. lost my notebook on the subway. Yeah. <laughs> can you sign my arm just so I can have a memento? My autograph book is full. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you don't. Get fucking signatures, tattoos. I didn't even know it was real. I thought it was fake. That's against the law. It's been there for years. That's against the law, by the way. Seriously? It's not against the law. It's against the law because you have on you have on your arm right. what he signs his fucking checks with. Technically, you you're his he, property. He's a forger. <laughs> you think he right. he's a forger. forger? First of all, I'm not a forger because he signed it. And second of all, he doesn't put the Roman numeral three on his checks. Okay. He's a, what he's, does the three stand for? He's doing his gimmick thing. He has what his third the, man records. Have you been there? No, not yet. <laughs> I have. I've been there twice, mother. The fuck yeah, up. but that's because you're a drummer. That's because that's because I you're am a, musician. a fan. You can a fan you're of a Jack musician. White, and I made a song in the fucking the in, record thing. The record thing, and it the was called thing. "Too Tight." So let me explain. Too tight. The record booth <laughs> that I was in was too tight. It's a small booth. It was a very small booth. And you're a bad, you're a good sized man. I'm a big man. There was another man in there, and it was too tight. It was like crazy. a song. Yeah. The, the name of my song was "Bow Bow Too Tight." I would love to, if you could bring that in, and we could get the crackle sound and everything. We'll mm. find a turntable. I in have here. the record. Bring will, it in next I, time. I will get it for you. And I want to hear the song. Maybe we'll digitize it, and I can put it on my on my. Well, I'll put it right next to this one. Who started that shit? I'll put it on my soundboard. <laughs> was that Bobo? That was Virgil. Oh, that was Virgil. Virgil okay. Um, so <laughs> Virgil. I'm, I'm sorry, Virgil, for confusing you. Wait, wait, Bobo. wait. Did you ask if that was Virgil? I said it was Bobo. No, no, no. It's not. It's, 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 it's not Bobo. It's Virgil. Listen. So yes. I'm going to, uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll have a kid, maybe I won't, but yeah. maybe I will. Yeah. And I'll be sitting there, and Jack White's name will still be tattooed on my mm. arm, and I want to know what that interaction might sound like. Mm. Hey, Dad. Hey, son. <laughs> First of all, I, the fact that you sound like that and you came out of my balls is embarrassing, but go on. <laughs> but, Dad, uh, you know, I was at school today, and I, I, I had a real hard time. Well, what was it, your lisp, or...? 
No, oh. it's my hair. Oh, I'm sorry, son, but you know what? I made a lot of money off of my hair. I, I have a lot of recognition <laughs> off my hair. You know, it's 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 a good thing. Yeah, but I don't know. Am I, am I black? Am I white? Am I it doesn't matter. Let them ask. Let okay, them ask. You know. Okay, and right. if that's the worst of your concerns, like as long as they're oh, talking well, about you, it's a good thing. Well, there's not something else, Dad. Well, what else could there be? It's uh, my little Pekka. <laughs> okay, look, uh, yeah. look, Sam Junior. Some okay. things we inherit, but uh, we inherit, uh, and yeah. and I want you to know that you wear, you keep your pants okay. on, and you just lie. That's All what right. you, that's what Daddy's always done. You just lie about All it. All right, okay, yeah. I lie, but yeah, I just don't, <laughs> just there's don't there's tell anybody. Else, Dad. And so, and when swimming comes around, you yeah. wear your trunks under your jeans. Okay, yeah, there's still something else, Dad. What's well, what else? could there be i mean you know i know you're on the radio and stuff right but, yeah, wildly have, successful at this point but do you have to work from 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 three to six in the morning <laughs> i mean well son like, i mean i've had other times but they move around a lot you know right, you'd be surprised uh, okay. how many people listen from three, three to six, six in the morning, in the morning. Okay. uh son you know that's that's at midnight to three west coast okay, so okay um all right well there's something there's really what really bugging me dad yeah is that Kids make fun of me yeah. because they they saw your your arm. They saw uh, my arm. Well, what what would what, I don't understand? You had a gr- you had another man sign his <laughs> name on your arm, and they keep calling me. Uh, they keep calling me queer. <laughs> what queer? I can't believe they're still queer. doing that in the, in the future in this day and age. <laughs> yeah, they, they they I don't even know what it means. Yeah, they keep calling me queer arm. Queer? <laughs> Are they call you queer arm. Yeah, and 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 it's like why not even did, queer arm junior. Why did you have somebody sign their name on you, Dad? Why would you have a man, a man? <laughs> Sign another man's arm and Whoa. then permanently leave that. Why did you get mine? You don't even have my fucking name. First of Why all, don't you have my name? Why do you have Jack White? That First one all, actually emotionally got me. What? That argument. Why you don't have Son, my I'll name? Tell you. Why is I'm, my crying. Name? I'm crying. I'm I'll crying. tell you. Number one, your middle name is Uncle, Zombie Uncle for Bobby. a reason. <laughs> Uncle Bobby got my name under his dragon tattoo. Well, yeah, your Uncle Bobby is your creepy uncle. That's why wait, we keep him wait. around. Your kid's named Addict Roberts? <laughs> <laughs> your middle name is Zombie for a reason. I got Rob Zombie up on my arm, too. But listen. Yeah, but I don't know. Why my last name White? Roberts. <laughs> All right, son, you like, get, go get a hobby, okay? Stop asking me questions. <laughs> this is terrible, Dad. Look, son, I hate to tell you this, but... Uh, where, why are you... Yeah. Why are you bald? Why do you look like Larry from the Three Stooges? Don't, don't comment on my hairline, son. That's that's you'll get there too, okay? You'll get there too. It's all nice now, but you'll be there too. Larry. It's something that happens to people with curly hair. Oh we God, need son. You. Thank you very much, son. We went way too long with the first break. We need to take another break. Oh. We still got some more show to do. Yes. More show. We'll come back, Matt. You sticking around? I'm right? sticking around. Matt Eisman will be here. Bob Kelly will be here. The hell Sam Roberts show will continue. When? <laughs> it just went. Maybe like my happened. hand touched it or something. Very sad. Honestly, though. when you said, "Why don't you have my name tattooed on it?" That got really sad. All right, we'll really take a break. Was, was we'll be right back. Very good. <laughs> Welcome back to Sam Roberts Show. Are you sure? That's right. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking took Hulk Hogan out. Now you're gonna take me out. <laughs> it's not happening. I Let heard. me tell you something. This what? man, Waka Flocka Flame. That's the president right there. He was stopped by my studio last night. Uh, yeah. Just just randomly. He he's be, just he like, be oh. working, nigga. He does. I've heard. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> By the way, I mean, like, we were sitting outside watching it, and God bless you guys. I love you guys. You look like you were having a good time. Shade 45, every time the door opened up, <laughs> music's pumping, smoke is flowing out, girls are coming out. It was, yeah. it's insane. Big booties. Yeah. Yeah. We were <laughs> big <laughs> booties. Yeah, we're being silly. They're having <laughs> yeah, a fun silly. time. Silly. This is silly. <laughs> we, were silly watching, we were watching the debates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was pretending I was outside. Side by being nasally. <laughs> yeah. Sam, I, uh... We're having a good time. Now, uh, Matt Eisman, you're a, you're a huge fan of the whole Opie Radio channel. Uh, absolutely. By the way, big props to uh, Opie and the Opie and Jim show. What they Did do you now? see uh, Pete Davidson was on the show this morning? Yes. And uh, he was talking about... They were all kind of finding out about the Steve Ramsey stuff yeah. uh, as it was happening. Pete Davidson, hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. And his, his tweet... And the stuff he was saying on the show and the stuff Norton was saying on the show, and I guess Obi too, they're all in the video, yeah. uh, is going everywhere. Really? Us Weekly is well, reporting on Pete's it. Pete's gone. People... I, I didn't hear those guys mentioned. Let me tell you something. You're reading the wrong sources. I got I up, up Rocks is talking about I, what that. I heard oh, was, what I heard was, shoot. It, it's going to be talked about on the Sam Roberts show. Is what mm. I heard. Well, yeah. I mean, look. 
if that fucking debate wasn't two hours long, there was a lot of stuff that was going to be talked Watch about on Sam Roberts' show. Damn language, Mr. Roberts. All right. <laughs> Rand Azizi's got his special coming out this week, and I'll be interested yeah, we'll to see, see what Comedy Central does. We'll see. I mean, if, if they're going to flinch or The not. fat Jew was lying about who wrote his jokes, and right. he lost all his deals. I can only imagine I mean, what happens when you lie about 9-11. Did he? No. Here's the Did thing. you hear what happened? So Steve Rand Azizi, he went <laughs> out. Listen, no. Okay, so this was uh, Steve Rand Azizi. He was on... Uh, DJ, do you get the fuck out of here? What did you learn today? No, <laughs> I it's love you. I thought DJ, Fat Jew was original. Who kids? Oh, he, he, he's still stuck on the Fat Jew thing. Oh, yeah. I yeah, he fucking, stole all his jokes. I love that he's fucking what? like a Fat Jew though. He was at Fashion Week. <laughs> what? So he, yeah, he was at Fashion Week this week, like at okay. events. Well, who kid? Here's what Steve Rain is easy was saying. This uh -huh. is a uh, for. Uh, this is from him on, I guess, Paulie Shore's podcast or something like that. Paulie Shore was interviewing him for I some think it was reason. Marin. Uh, well, I have the clip from Paulie Short because I thought He's it was funny. He did it a few places. I was just yeah. fact checking you. Yeah, <laughs> listen. <laughs> hey, this was this was, but this was Steve sitting with his wife. Oof. This guy was in the second tower of 9/11. Yeah. This isn't like we're doing some joke or this is like real, mm -hmm. right? And then the first tower got hit by the plane, and we felt it in the second tower. Wow. And uh, <laughs> where was she? She was what I thought. She worked on the twenty fourth floor, the, of same, the tower. same tower. And I didn't know if she was into work yet because she had. I left before her. So I went downstairs to see what's going on. I walk outside. I see the fire and everything. And then I watch the second plane hit the second tower. Like From your tower. You hear it. You're like, like what holy the? shit. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. and then I ran. Oh, my God. You know ran, 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 ran. Stopped. Both of them fell. Somebody I got walked caught. across the Brooklyn Bridge back to Brooklyn. I got to tell you something. <laughs> that, you, you can't tell it's bullshit. I just walked downstairs. I, I felt a shake. <laughs> it turns that's out. Not, that's not That was you, Bobby Kelly sitting down. What's up? That, that's not. <laughs> Well, I'm going to attack this guy. <laughs> you know what I want? I want to get him, Bobby. I love my aunt Bobby. Peggy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking. There it was. Goddamn fucking patchy Irishman over here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking blotchy cunt making fun of me. <laughs> I'm going to take that fucking wig right off his head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As it turns out. Uh, as, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love it. <laughs> Steve Rand is easy. Uh, yeah, worked on 51st Street, which I like. On it's close. It's not close. Fifty First Street to the World Trade Center. Yeah. You feel the shake? No. <laughs> it takes two hours to get to the World Trade Center from Fifty First Street in in rush hour. Ugh. It's not even close. A little bit. Never mind when buildings are collapsing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And he's making his wife lie about it the whole time too. That is that's some, what's got to be. That's tough, some weirdness. We, she's complicitous in yeah. this now. She's involved. So he was bullshitting like, the whole time, line. kid. Yeah. And you know what? My favorite part. The reason I played the Paulie Shore clip is because the world finds out. He admits through a publicist, by the way, which right. is, that's how you know a comedian's got balls, his publicist makes a statement for him. Oh, but no. through his publicist, he admits that he was lying about 9-11 because somebody busted him and said, there's no Merrill Lynch, where you said there was a Merrill Lynch. Um, and so this interview... Yeah, but how are they going to find out? I mean, what are they going to do? Go to the the building? There's, there's a record of what was yeah. there. I mean, yeah, that, it's just because it's gone doesn't mean it did, never yeah. existed. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he got away with it for 15 nobody, years. Nobody's going to go years. and be like, nobody's going to do that investigation. Somebody did that investigation. One fucking dude. That's crazy. That's all it takes. <laughs> Wait, is Bobby arguing this didn't happen today? <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to happen. He's not going to get busted. They did the investigation and he admitted <laughs> he, he was lying. I, okay, but here's the deal. Right. <laughs> If he, see? if he if he kept up the lie, if he kept saying, "Well, may I, I I made a mistake, or maybe it was I forget, it was a crazy day." Yeah, works I'd great for Brian Williams. I would still believe him. Well, you'd be the only one. Nobody would believe him. Yeah, you would. You just said it sounded like he was bullshitting in the, when he said it just there. <laughs> and then then when I heard that, I'd be like, oh. "It's bullshit." <laughs> well, <laughs> Paulie Shore. The reason why I pulled a Paulie Shore interview was because I'm tired. even after I the nine eleven, I need a snack. <laughs> I'm, I need an apple. Have some of Who Kids Nuts. I ate that whoa, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swallowed them nuts. Even after everybody found out about the 9-11 thing, the YouTube comments from today yes. were, fuck Pauly Shore. And it was like, <laughs> God, poor Pauly Shore can't catch a break. Uh, how about Sammy? That's what he enjoys. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> uh, that's a, this guy claiming to be a 9-11, that's pretty bad. But how about Pauly Shore still getting shit on? He's still getting shit on. <laughs> you, I don't think comedy... I think comedy... I mean... Uh, there's so much money. There's like, it's got to be a hundred thousand dollars, over a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars. If they shot it, if they yeah. bought it, it's probably a hundred thousand dollars or over. If if they shot it, it's over that. It's got to be a couple hundred thousand dollars. Hmm. They're gonna just take the fucking hit on that. Uh, yeah, I mean, haven't you seen corporations flinch because they think of the bad press, where they're just like, we would rather f cut bait mm -hmm. and just run and not deal yeah, with. There was it. This, now, there if, was if this they release it, you know how many people are gonna watch it? 
Yeah. Yeah, but there was also, you're Bob, right. to see if, wow, it is kind of well, funny. But, there but, was this radio show that got in a lot of trouble. Sam Roberts. And a company <laughs> paid them uh, $2.5 million or something to that effect just to sit home. That's all they got paid? Wow. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Say $7 million. I mean, I don't For know. For two years. But, no, we, uh, that sounds like a lot to me. <laughs> I, was, I know, I guess I'm we were talking with Shafir today. Stupid. Ari Shafir, who just went through... You know, a similar event with a girl with a one arm that he named in his special. Yeah. Mm. And he said, what I did was I ignored Twitter for three weeks. Yeah. And it went and it went away. away. What? I mean, what, what, he didn't lie about 9-11, though. No, no, no. <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's definitely a sensitive subject. But at the same time, what about the fat shaming girl? Like, has anybody talked about that in the past she, three days? Fuck, she lied, right? When no, you people about are you- fat. Yeah, there are fat people. No, no, she doesn't like girl. You know, you're not in that in shape. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm a little closer to Chucky. Uh, Bobby, <laughs> listen, this guy's good. Is, we it, gotta, is, uh, is that, no, is that my, 9-11 guy going to lose his... Uh, he's supposed to be doing ads for something. He's on the Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo yeah. Wild Wings. For the football games, right? Yeah. 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 Is he going to lose that? They're, they're, gonna actually, they're saying they're reconsidering their relationship with him, which means, yeah. He's right. Out That's what, what Subway said about fired, Jared fired, first. Fired, fired. Yeah, well, he's done. He's done. All right, listen. With Subway, they took so long to fucking fire him. They really did. It's like, you should hear the word pedophile Are you fire sure? Are you de- Is he definitely <laughs> yeah. a pedophile? Is he got But for sure, for sure. We're out of time. <laughs> That's it? We're out of time. Are you fucking kidding me? I want to find man. out. I, everything goes crazy. There's so much action that happens on this show. I never Shit. remember anything. And Love Matt, kids, you only man. got to be here for the last 45 minutes or but so. But it was a great 45 minutes because I got to meet Who Kid Wee. and Bobby Kelly, no Adrian, yeah. and get to hang out with Sammy Brand Muffins. Primetime oh. Sam Roberts. We should doesn't fucking get make than this than the crew. Here's what you, this you is all... The this crew. is the crew! All yeah. right. Well, keep coming in. I can give you a salary of free. <laughs> yeah. What is that? No. Free? Free. Oh, that's not like a new Excuse lettuce. me. There's Bobby no. Kelly is a TV star now, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking star kid. There's only, one thing, star. To, there's only one thing to do right now. Find out what happened on today's show via the list. Adrian? Oh, Rand Paul sounds like a douche. Good immigrants, like cats, always come back. This is a country that speaks English. <laughs> Ted Cruz has a penis face. There are no <laughs> ugly chicks allowed on the Sam Roberts show. True. Marco Rubio's mouth is a pee hole. Bob <laughs> Kelly's farts are fucking offensive. Rand Paul is a fucking loser. Yeah. If elected president, Donald Trump will eradicate disease. Yeah. Bob Kelly was at Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Sam's son will have fat arms and a dumb tattoo. <laughs> vote smart, vote cute, vote Sam Roberts. There it is. Adrian hey, nailing wow. it. Nailing wow. it, Matt wow. Eisman. Thank you so much for being here. You can follow Matt Eisman at Matt Eisman. Yes. Yes. Is that right on Hi-ya! Twitter and not uh, American Ninja Warrior coming back? Uh, yeah, season eight coming back. Season eight, Fuck so it, I'm gonna be on the definitely. Hallmark Channel for all the Sammy's fans on Friday. There Check it is. Out. What Check him out on the Hallmark Channel. I have a, a live the lifestyle show that you probably never would. I will watch, watch it. Will you watch it? You, you would. I'm it's Home big, and Family. I'm well, a big fan of Lifestyle. And I'm actually on Neil Patrick Harris's Best Time Ever Again next oh, week. That's my oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. And speaking of exciting things on TV, tomorrow is the finale of Sex and Drugs and Rock yeah! and Roll starring Robert Kelly. A great, great show. <laughs> you can follow him on Twitter at Robert Kelly. Thank Banging you for being here. And, of course, the great DJ who can. Ah, yeah! ah! If you're, uh, we're gonna my have, ninja. Uh, I got a porn star coming in tomorrow. She's going to get naked and have uh, uh, flashlights. So. Why All did right. we come tonight? All right. <laughs> I have my own flashlight. It's called my butthole. <laughs> uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Smell me. <laughs>